Hello! I think I'm live! Hi everybody! Hello, 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 hello! If you are here after the stream is already up and finished, I will have timestamps for you. But as always, I have to do a couple of things to set up. I'm not as prepared as I'd like to be, but it was getting kind of late. And I had to stream today instead of tomorrow, and I'll explain more. But I hope you're doing really good. I love you, and I'm excited. I missed you. Um, I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> also. <laughs> Okay, here we go there, and then I think we'll do that. Are we good? Are we good? I don't even know if anybody's here. Oh, everybody is here. Hello. Surprise, scream stream. Surprise, scream stream. Toru Honda in my chat. Toru Honda, my most beloved. <laughs> Static! Static's YouTube bugged <laughs> and YouTube gave me an Elden Ring thumbnail for this stream and I'm just now seeing it. It's so funny. Hi guys! Hello, 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 hello. Let's see. You can barely hear me. You should be able to hear me pretty well. Let me see if I need to change up some of my stuff. Is that better? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Angie, thank you so much for two months. I hope you had a great week. Love you. Love you too, Angie. Um, Static, that's still so funny. That is still so funny. You love the double ears? Thank you, thank you. Couldn't pick, couldn't pick, so many, many ears. Okay, so um, usually we have our weekly Scream Stream on um, Sunday. Let me turn down the music a little bit. Got a bit loud. Normally we have our weekly Scream Stream on Sunday and any additional streams throughout the week are just bonuses. I kind of, forgot to tell you guys that I'm going to the streamies tomorrow. Ah! I'm going to the streamies tomorrow. Um, and I wasn't 100% sure if I would be able to stream. I might try to stream later in the evening. I might try to stream getting ready. We'll see how it works out. Tomorrow is just so packed. I didn't want to promise anything. You know what I mean? So, um, today is the scream stream instead and what we're going to be doing whenever we get through our first little bit of chatting and hanging out, um, is Digi, thank you so much for one month. We are watching Bizarre Bubs 2021 scary compilation. And as I was going through it, they all look like TikTok videos. Like most of them are like vertical videos that seem like they're from TikTok. So I was like, oh fun. Like it's. It's obviously a Bizarre Bub video, but they're like TikTok-esque kind of things. Anyways, I hope that makes sense. That's why I called it a, <laughs> the, the TikToks you've never seen because a lot of them are um, Loey and MatPat in the same room. It's, it's, I was gonna say it's happened before, but I don't think he was at the streamies last year. Um, MatPat did make a piece though to give an award to Kane Pixels who did um, the Backrooms Found Footage series and I thought that was really really cool but I think he's hosting I think he's hosting hi Crow hi I'll be popping in and out also just had B-Day happy belated birthday Crow I love you so so much happy happy birthday I hope you're doing so good Yeah, the streamies will be really fun. Kylantis, thank you so much for your super chat. Streamies, that's so exciting. I hope it's so fun. And yes, Bizarre Bub, Bizarre Bub, our beloved. Um, yeah, I went to the streamies last year for the first time ever. And I went with uh, my team over at Jelly Smack, um, which if you're not too familiar, they basically run my entire Facebook. And if you've ever watched me on Snapchat as well, they're incredible. Um, like my, my jelly smack 
fam is really sweet so they're taking me and they let me bring my bestie so i'm going with eleanor too and then literally so i go to the streamies tomorrow night and i'm catching a flight first thing monday morning I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I have been keeping so many secrets from you. I have been scheming, scheming, and, and, oh yeah. Oh, and I had a TV show drop today. That was really casual. So now you can watch me, watch me on the Roku channel. What? Like it's been, listen, I've been working a lot this year. <laughs> You guys are going to be so sick of me. You are going to quite literally see me everywhere. You will not be able to look away. <laughs> like, I will be in every place, unfortunately, that your eyes... Well, fortunately for you. Unfortunately, if you don't like me. But you guys do. So... <laughs> so real static. Yeah, it's, it's a flight to come to your birthday party. Yes, my TV show launched today. Um, my TV show, Get Spooked with Loie Lane, is now out on the Roku channel. Um, I am on the channel Mysteria, which is 548. I have a little YouTube short about it, but big day. Big day for Loie Lane. Massive day for Loie Lane. Massive week for Loie Lane. Um, Isabel, thank you so much for three months. I love you. And then Jolene, thanks for 11 months. I hope you start to feel better soon. And Joyce, thank you for three months. I love you so much. Thanks for being here. Mother has been mother has been mothering. Mother mother has been mothering. Like mother has been busy. When are we gonna do a girl cookie or a oh my god, a girl dinner cooking show? Great question. Honestly, I feel like that's gotta be the next priority, right? That's gotta be like the next thing. That we do is girl dinner the cooking show i haven't even picked out what photo i'm posting to announce that i'm streaming because it's not even a sunday um let me see i took some earlier in my bathroom this shirt is giving love witch is it not it's kind of giving love witch. If you were to take a million of the exact same photo in the exact same position and then just have to choose one and it's like impossible to choose. So real, Holly. I am proof self manifestation and self love works. Okay, wait. Actually, can I tell you guys something? I feel like it's still kind of a small crowd here and it's like the people who probably come to like every single stream. So I know you guys like, like me. One second. Uh, Tamara Danielle, happy 26th birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much for the super chat. I should be giving you a gift right now, but happy birthday. Happy birthdays for Tamara in the uh, comments. And uh, you said, I'm so happy I get to spend it watching my favorite YouTuber. I love you so much. I love you. I love you and I think I need glasses because I really struggled to read that. Um, so you guys do, you, you are the ones who listen to me ramble and ramble and chit chat just all freaking day long. And I've been thinking about rebranding Loey Bug, like my second channel that has been largely abandoned. At first I was like, oh, I'll put horror games over there. And then that really never wound up fully working out because I just, I would prioritize my main channel and just felt like I couldn't quite give like video games the, the editing that they deserved. Hi, Blaze Goddess. Welcome back. I hope you've been well. Hope you've been so good, love. Um, but... Happy early birthday, John Conrad. So I'm thinking I'm gonna revamp Loey Bug, and I, I think that for now, I'm kind of axing the idea of like putting horror games over there, just because like I've noticed that I really, I very rarely stick to a horror game anyway. Like I feel like I have one technical issue and I'm like, God, I just don't even wanna play this again. Like, <laughs> but what I'm thinking about rebranding to is actually like manifestation and spirituality and stuff like that, because it's something I'm so 
interested in. And I feel like with manifestation specifically, I have quite literally manifested my entire life. Like every single thing in my life, like I wrote down and manifested in some way or another, whether I was like conscious of it or not. And I feel like I have so much to say about manifestation. I also talk a lot about like different manifestation methods and stuff like that. So I, I don't know, would you guys want to watch that? Like, is that like something you would be interested in? Is that like, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I've been thinking about lately. Like, I, it's for me, it's something I'm really into. Like, I've been reading all of Neville Goddard's books, which Neville Goddard is like a huge um, influence. And I feel like the modern day manifestation and spirituality space and um, talks a lot about the law of assumption. But also, like, his books are fascinating. They're also really confusing because they all tie back into the Bible. Um, so a lot of the times it feels like it goes over my head. But I'm reading all 14 of his books right now. And it's like, I feel like if I'm doing things like that, I should surely be making videos about it. Because it's like something I'm actually really into. So hopefully you guys are into that. I also think I'll probably be vlogging over there a lot um, in the near future. Just because I'm going to be traveling a lot. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts about Loey Bug. Um, let me catch up with these super chats. Sorry. Um, happy birthday again, Tamara. I love you so much. Evie, hi. Thanks for two months, friend. Uh, yay stream now to get pup to bed so I can watch you and pup get all snug. We'll, <laughs> we can't wait to hang out with you both. Maddie Grace said in the words of Barbara Streisand, hello, gorgeous. Maddie, please, you're making me blush. I love you so much. Thank you. Kimberly Mitchell, thank you so much for six months. Thanks for the congrats on the TV show. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. It's one of my spookiest stories. Lindsay, hi. Uh, Lindsay said, I've been watching your videos forever and then loving these uh, streams since you started them. So this is the perfect end to my birthday. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. Lots of fun birthdays today. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthdays to Lindsay in the chat. I'm glad you're here. And then Kailanta said, yes, manifesting, manifesting and spiritual things. I feel like a lot of us are into that too. I would actually super appreciate the guidance. I also feel like I certainly go through like waves of spirit, being interested in spirituality, but because there's like no... Maka, surely there's better ways to express yourself. But also, I can't really knock it. I had the entire office closed off tonight. But, um, what was I just saying? I was talking about manifestation. Oh, I've always been really into it, and I do it, like, a lot in my, um, day-to-day, -day, like, life. Like, I've always been really into spirituality manifestation, but then I'll stop... I'll, I'll, I'll get really into it and then I'll stop doing it entirely for months. And I feel like every time that I get back into like scripting my life out and manifestation and stuff like that and the different methods that I use, I'm like, oh, wait, this works. This like works. Like it works. Like it just, it just does. So I don't know. I want to share my tips, my tricks, like I feel like manifestation has been so life-changing for me. Like I said, I literally, when I was probably like 17, decided that this was going to be my job. And I, I literally just made it my job. Like I decided I wanted to be a model and I became a model. I decided that I wanted to uh, do YouTube and I did YouTube. And like, yeah, I, I feel like there's so many things that I utilize that I want to share tips and tricks and all that stuff let me make sure this photo is up long roundabout way of explaining that but I'm glad you guys are into it not me taking how many photos in my bathroom 21 and I think I like the first one the best before I started this music is bumping Oh, and you guys, sorry, mods, I haven't yet said this, but uh, I will have the rules of our chat pinned. Please make sure to, um, wait, 
Can someone post? I can't find the pin of our rules. <laughs> so hopefully a mod can pop them in. Thanks, Static. Thanks, Static. But make sure we are uh, abiding by those rules and listening to our beautiful, wonderful, incredible mods because they are here on their own. That was definitely a Tiltify. Blue Mind, thank you so much for the Tiltify. Don't forget, you guys, we have um, how many more days this month to donate to Make-A-Wish? I'll play the TikToks when I'm done hanging out with chat. I never rush into it. I like to hang for a bit. Hey, that's a secret. I posted that on community for secrets. I posted it from the members as a secret. Um. Sorry, guys, I'm just checking out Blue Minds Tiltify donation. <laughs> oh my god, we are so close to 4,500. Listen, we are so close to 4,500. Um, raised for Make a Wish. Blue Mind, thank you again for that donation to Make a Wish. Top of the evening to you, McQueen. You look gorgeous as always. I wish you nothing but love and light. Thank you for everything that you do each day. Gets by easier with your videos. Love you, love you, Blue Mind. I love you so much. Thank you so much for gifting to Make a Wish. They are at 60K raised, guys. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Listen to the mods or get eaten by Drew. Um, yes, please listen to the mods. Please respect the mods. We are low on mods lately. Um, and it's just been, I've been streaming so sporadically, we haven't been able to have many people in. So please listen. They're doing all the hard work. Okay, let me post this photo. Oh, do you guys like believe in like manifestation and spirituality and stuff like that oh my god wait okay do answer that question but also have any of you watched the new life of luxury video <laughs> please please listen to the mods but has anybody watched the life of luxury video <laughs> i'm so happy for them I was so happy for them. I want to watch it so bad. Amanda, thank you so much for four months. I love you very, very much. I'm happy you're here. Okay. I think I'm going to get my nails done in the morning. Well, I, I don't think I am. I am. Ooh, you read tarot for a living, Rosa? That's amazing. That's so cool. I get that, Sarah. Like, being worried about manifesting the wrong thing. The thing is that, like, you are actively, like, not to sit on my soapbox, but you manifest, your entire life is manifested. Through every single action and every single thought that you have in your head, you are manifesting absolutely everything around you anyways. And when I started thinking about it that way, that like you're not really like opting into manifestation. It's like you're already doing it. It's it's more about with like law of attraction and law of assumption and stuff. It's just like better understanding how you're bringing that stuff in and like why why the universe does what it does or even if you don't think it's a spiritual thing like why our brains do what they do and why they have to um Amanda <laughs> and why we get like hyper focused in the capacity that we do and um also Amanda said listen to the mods or else she'll cry with a ukulele and I don't think you want that from Amanda I don't think you want that so listen to the mods <laughs> that's what the rule is also jacob Lindsay said tell your house goes i said hello paul jacob says hi 
Also, Seraphine, if you're back here, Jacob says hi. They love you. Um, and if you have any more mimic stories, please share. I loved that video. Also, everyone here, y'all are awesome. Love you, Lindsay. Thanks for being here. I think you commented earlier too. I, I saw your chat go by that you love pink and purple, so I hope my background <laughs> is aesthetically pleasing. Shadowflower16, you are the love of my life. Shadowflower said, Lowy, love my life. Your lives bring me so much serotonin. I'm struggling right now, and having your lives to lean on is so helpful. Love and light. I love you so much, Shadowflower. I'm so good. I'm, I'm, I'm so good. I'm so glad you are here and hanging out with us and in a group of people who love you. We all love you. I'm sorry things are hard, honey. I'm really sorry to hear that, but. It means the world that you're spending energy and time hanging out here and i hope that i bring you a, a tiny bit of comfort i hope these streams and this content brings you like a little bit of little bit of happiness um in an otherwise difficult time and i love you and i'm sorry okay i think this is the selfie you can literally just see in my camera roll hold on i'm not even on the right screen you can see my camera roll all of the other ones that look exactly the same but i think that's just the perfect one you know what i mean hi Rena. happy you're here for this saturday stream now that we have more people in i am gonna be so honest with you if we do have a stream tomorrow it's going to be so off the cuff and like weird and not normal i'm actually gonna post um the announcement onto youtube uh, community tab too that we're live right now because I feel really bad it's so last minute that I'm saying I can't stream tomorrow again I might be able to but I have I'm going to the streamies tomorrow so I don't want to like I don't want to like static wait what um but I feel bad, I feel bad that it's like so last minute. Let me get this picture ready. YouTube might be being kind of funky. That is so weird. Oh, static's back. Never mind, we're fine. I was like, that's gonna be really hard if we have exactly one mod. <laughs> Hecate would be <laughs> would be the one to wrangle everyone as a lone mod, but I don't want to put all that pressure on their shoulders. All right. I'm so excited you guys are into the idea of reviving my second channel. I wanted to do it for so long, but haven't really had any kind of like idea of what I wanted to do. You were in Polly Pocket Jail Static. That was what it was. YouTube themselves put you into jail. Um, how do we feel about Miley Cyrus's new song, by the way? Do we like it? Is Do I like it because I'm old? Is that what it is? Do I like it because I'm old? Because it's called Used to Be Young, and she really is just like my age. Hi, okay, Ben. Happy you made it. Uh... Okay. I wish I could stream copyrighted YouTube or music on YouTube so desperately, but it would like screw my channel. Okay, that's pretty. So I felt the same way when it first came out. Almonds, I think that's your name. Um, like I, at first I was like, oh, it's fine. Like I, 
I didn't. I, I didn't, like, love it. Um, but then it weirdly grew on me. Like, I feel like a lot of Miley Cyrus's music, like, just has to grow on me. Like, when I first heard it, I just wasn't the biggest fan. I didn't even like the music video or anything. And then I kept listening. Um, and then I fell in love with it. I haven't really heard Selena's new song, I'll be so honest. But yeah, I love the new Miley song. To find the live link, sorry friends. There we go. Okay, finally got this photo ready. Finally posting it onto Instagram. I will post it everywhere. I'm gonna have to do this in chunks because I feel bad not hanging out with you guys or not being able to respond to chat. Um, Amanda Sugar, you sent me a little DBD thing through Twitter or X or whatever the hell it's called. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, I can't wait to see what it is. Static, no, no. No. Bad. <laughs> Bad static. Sprays with hose. Static, thanks so much for five gifted memberships, you sweet little angel. Don't you worry. I have a jail cell for you. If you're new here, I put my um my mods and people who Well, I mostly put my mods and then people like Amanda and Reyna who end up just doing way too much. I put them into Polly Baca jail as well. That's true. Drew was already like wrongfully put into jail. That is so true. Um, Cam Mallet, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget, actually, now that Static has donated five gifted memberships to the community as well. If you end up joining the channel memberships tonight or anytime, there is an entire members only side of YouTube and I'd love for you to come hang out over there. We do uh, like cool things like members only videos and I do members only like posts and let you guys know what's going on. I also have a tier right now where I'm doing weekly videos. I was planning on filming my weekly tonight actually. Um, or maybe partially, t it might be tonight and tomorrow because I need to, I gotta go get my nails done first thing in the morning. And then I also need to go get like waxed. Like I have a lot of beauty and like maintenance things to do. Sorry, Cam Mallet for that segue, <laughs> but thank you very much for joining the channel membership. Raina! Raina, no! Raina, Raina, no! Amanda, stop! I literally made a joke about putting you both in Polly Pocket Jail because you do the most all the time. Reyna, that's incredibly generous. Thank you so, so much for 20 gifted memberships to the community. My God, you are just a little freaking angel on earth. You're so sweet. I love you so much. I, I have just the spot for you, actually. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Look at all of the green. It's just green. It's like every single person in chat is green. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have just the just the poly pocket for this. I have just the poly pocket for this. Okay. Okay. Consider. 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 Could be cool. Raina, how do you feel about Peter Pan? If you don't like it, I can reassign you. But wait. Oh. Kinda neat. Like a little treasure box. You could live inside of a little treasure box. If it's not for you, I can give you something else. But. And then Amanda, I, I, wait, I want to give you another pink one. I liked it. Have I already given you uh, the Thumbelina one? Actually, Amanda, you live in there. That's where you are. 
right in that little flower. And Drew can come sit, sleep on the like lawn. Drew, you can sleep on the little mushroom that's outside of the rose in the the Polly Pocket House. Good gravy, y'all. <laughs> you were so freaking sweet. Digi, I'm sorry it took me a second to get to your super chat, but you said Loki has been keeping you safe and visiting you in your dreams. Thanks for bringing him to you last stream. I'm so happy to hear that. Loki's a really nice presence. Just a nice, a nice, lovely presence. Also very, um, uh, tricky. <laughs> like sometimes he's like a bit of a prankster. Like, right after i started working with him just spiders constantly all the time and i'm i'm just constantly like dear god like i never wanted this but because i'm working with him i try to put them outside and be nice and be good and all that stuff but i love you very much digi i'm happy to hear that cam mallet hi loey i've been having a really tough summer and watching your videos has helped me through i love you so much i love you too cam thank you so much for hanging out with me i'm sorry to hear you've been having a hard time i hope it gets easier for you Let's hope that uh, hot human uh, Amanda, no, <laughs> she broke out of jail. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear it's been a tough summer. I hope fall is a little bit kinder to you. Danny, hey, hey, Lo, do you listen to Ash Nico? Her album, her new album is so gay. I haven't listened to the new album, but I do listen to Ash Nico. One time I was supposed to go to one of her shows and then... I was at a hair salon and I thought the hair appointment was not going to take as long as it took. And I literally had to like gift my ticket to someone else because I was like, I'm not going to make this concert. Like I couldn't just leave halfway through processing my hair. This was when I had a lot of hair too. <laughs> Amanda said, and Drew, no, anywho, on my way to do the exact same thing. You literally warned me. You, Amanda, <laughs> no. No, stop it. Okay, enough, stop, stop. That's very sweet of you. That's very, very sweet. You've donated 10 gifted memberships and then another 10. So that's 20 gifted memberships and that's very generous to the community. I don't know how to contain you. Is the Thumbelina house not enough? Do I need to do, like, look at this. You wanna, you wanna be placed somewhere other than that? It's so cool. You have a little garden and everything. You know? Think about it. Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Static. <laughs> I cannot with you guys tonight. Enough. The Fem Stranger. Thank you so much for your super chat. Cassie Gregory and Eli, welcome to the channel memberships. Congrats to everybody getting channel memberships as well. We have two, two, two likes right now. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> spirit numbers, angel numbers. <laughs> but we have gotten 59 new members tonight. So for all of the new members, just a friendly reminder, whether you were gifted or you uh, got your membership, you can check out the members only tab. There's a lot of cool stuff waiting there for you. Chat has been frozen for me for so long because everything keeps coming through. No, Static, you and Amanda are stoppable. Yeah, green chat. That's a green freaking chat. <laughs> I have never seen so many members in a stream at one time. Um, the Femme Stranger, I think I said thank you for your super chat, but thank you very much if I didn't. Also, Cassie, Eli, welcome to the channel memberships. Caitlin, thank you very, very much for your super chat and thank you for the support. And also, happy three months, Caitlin. Um, you said, thank you for streaming. I'm having a bad day. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I hope it gets a little better. Thanks for spending some time with us. Um, I've lost track of how many memberships Amanda has gifted, but I, thanks for five more. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> like, I don't have it in me right now. I literally, I cannot believe my maximum security flower Polly Pocket set from Thumbelina was not enough to contain you. That's crazy. That's crazy. It is almost Halloween. Maybe I should start finding some spooky themed jails. Like the Corpse Bride one. I know I've assigned this one previously, but it is very cool. Um, and she just keeps going. <laughs> she's, she's like, this girl cannot be contained. 
Static, thanks for five gifted memberships, I guess. Amanda, thank you very much for five gifted memberships. And then thank you for another 10 gifted memberships. I At what point do I stop saying thank you? <laughs> at what point do I start reprimanding? Like, at what point do I just tell you to go sit in a corner? Where When do I put Amanda in timeout? I don't know what it is. And I also can't do that because that's my child. <laughs> but... Amanda, thank you very much. Static, thank you very much. Reyna, thank you. Thank you to everyone who is in chat right now. I cannot keep up. Um, Amanda Sugar, baby. Like, what? what is going on? What is happening? I cannot control this. Oh, look at the little mermaid one, though. Amanda really, no, truly is in the Sugar Mama era. But also consider, consider just going in here and knowing peace. Sada could swim around as flounder. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be fun. Yeah? Just go sit in there. I promise I won't close it. I pr if you guys just go in sh static, Amanda, if you guys just go in here and there's you guys, you're just gonna go hang out in the, um, wait, no, that's Eric and Ariel, Never mind. <laughs> You guys definitely can just go hang out and swim. Um, Ariel is definitely Amanda. Static is definitely Flounder. Absolutely Flounder. Absolutely Flounder. Sorry, Static. Actually, I'm not sorry. You do get mad Flounder energy. Oh my god, the Polly Pocket one. The Polly Pocket Peter Pan one is so freaking cute. <laughs> no, Static, just go in there. I won't close it, I swear. If you just go in, I won't close it. Danny, thank you very much for a gifted membership. And then Lexi Morin, thank you so much for your super chat. Love you so much. But you said, I love you, Loie. Missed your gorgeous face. I missed yours, Lexi. I love seeing you here. Lauren Damon, thanks so much for the super chat. I read an academic theory. Loki was a spider god. So very interesting. He was manifesting spiders for you. See, I had heard previously that like Loki, like one of his signs was spiders. So when I started seeing spiders all the time, why are you flounder? Static, why? Wait, wait, this does not surprise you, right? Static, you would not be surprised by being assigned flounder. Wait. Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> Why are you booing me? Oh, no. I'm so ready for Faz 2 static. Anytime, anytime. Um, but yes, I've always read that like snakes and spiders are like a big sign of like Loki or like one of his symbols or whatever. So I started seeing spiders immediately after starting to work with him. Rosie R. Black 95, thanks so much for your cute little sticker and super chat. My EB dear, these streams always bring me such joy. Wanted to update you on future surgery. It's been pushed back, but you finally got the, you got to go to the gym. You got the green light to go to the gym. I'm so happy for you. That's amazing, EB. Sorry, the surgery has been pushed back or maybe not sorry, depending on how you feel about that. But I hope you're feeling a little bit better. I love you. And then Amanda gifted 10 memberships, of course, we know now. Amanda is currently in uh, the ocean <laughs> with, with, with all of her beautiful, wonderful friends in a gorgeous and absolutely incredible um, Polly Pocket home. That's where Amanda is. Uh, Roses, thank you so much for another super chat. The, oh my god, the little Shivas. That one says, how's it going? It's going good. Amanda said that she refuses to stop until DBD. What if I wave the white flag? DBD. We'll play DBD sometime. I swear it. Pinky promise. <laughs> and then Lissy Greeny, welcome to the channel memberships. Okay. What the fuck is Scuttle? <gasps> Scuttle! Wait, Scuttle. Scuttle. No. No, you will be Scuttle static. I won't do that to you. You're definitely Flounder. You're definitely the sidekick in Amanda's main story. Welcome to the 70 new members. <laughs> Amanda said under the sea. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that reaction. I'm static said, and I quote, oh, the fuck ass seagull <laughs> and right before that holly had said scuttle is the iconic 
iconic AF Siegel. Said it goes the fuck out of Siegel. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh, I love it here. Okay, I'm posting on X that I'm live. And then we probably need to start the self-care timer after that. <laughs> Stephanie Brown saying that Static is King Triton. <laughs> his, his ego will be huge from that. <laughs> Honestly deserve to Satika deserves to to feel to feel a huge ego, but like <laughs> they literally said static uh is King Triton. That's so real though. That is so real. I can see that a little bit. But I more so see Flounder, so I'm gonna stick there. <laughs> Fuck a seagull. No, Static, you could be Prince Eric. It's just that Amanda is the main character of this story. Amanda's the main character of my story. Amanda is the main character of everyone's story. And so you must be the sidekick. You must be Flounder. <laughs> Static said I truly am a more unfortunate soul. I'm sorry, I have to stop bullying this man. Old Caven said under the sea. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, babe. Okay, we're good. Posting that. Yeah, in Amanda's like main character story, you have to be the sidekick. You must be. Honestly, the fact that I can both stream and flirt at the same time is absolutely incredible to me. Unrelated to anything that we're currently talking about, but I'm just a multitasker. Okay, it's live on X and then I'm probably gonna post on YouTube as well. Okay. Hecate, you would certainly be Ursula, but in a sleigh, like in the slayest way possible. Be it, you would be Ursula because you are the icon, actually. While it is Amanda's story and we're all just living in it, truly, Ursula is my favorite character. And I, I, I would accept that casting. I really would. Um... Kylie just said Static is about to develop, enter his villain arc. Static is about to go full blow Kenergy. Like. <laughs> like full, full on Ken. And honestly, it would be just so, so very justified. Static deserves a Mojo Dojo Casa house. Amanda, no! I, we, we talked about this. We talked about this. We talked about this. Thank you very much for five gifted, but we've talked about this. That's enough now. <laughs> no more. It's very sweet. It's very generous. Still doing, ah, 
<laughs> Nikki, I love you so much. Nikki said, I'm more green. It's just a wall of green. Nikki said, still doing scream streams even with the TV show. I mean, I won't let my head get too big. No, um, my show is actually just going to be like some of the scariest like stuff I've talked about, you know? Um, so of course I gotta just keep talking about scary stuff. <laughs> but thanks, Nikki. Morgan C. Hey, Loey, I finally uh, ordered my Eris Tour hoodie today and I had no one else uh, who would understand my excitement. Doesn't ship till December, but yay. I'm so happy for you, Morgan. Congratulations. I'm still waiting on my Speak Now cardigan. <laughs> like, still waiting on my Speak Now cardigan. Ursula is the plus size queen of all time. God, I love her. I'm so happy for you, Morgan. Congratulations. Kylantis did say Static's about to enter his villain arc. So true. So true. Thank you guys very much for the super chats tonight and the donated gifted subs. I, I, <laughs> what is going on? We have been live for 45 minutes and there are 75 new members. Hello to all of you. What happened? <laughs> Amanda said, uh, listen, we haven't played DVD yet, so I don't have to stop gifting. Yeah, but there's a verbal agreement. I have said we will play DVD. And so you could just honor, honor it now. You know what I mean? It's like, do you have to? No. I can't physically place you into the Polly Pocket Little Mermaid house, but you are there in spirit. So, consider that. <laughs> I don't know what else. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, how else can I argue for this? Here to about scary animatronics. Okay. Um, you know, I really did get a sponsor for my new video and then published the video in the middle of the night, um, which maybe wasn't the best move by me because now nobody has seen it, but I just have faith eventually people will. Yes. Uh, if I can't stop you, your bank account can, Amanda. <laughs> and it's saying stop. <laughs> it's saying enough. It's, it's said that you've done... You've done a lot and and there's so much gratitude in my heart for you to, to know that I am a character in your main character story is just such a beautiful experience. But <laughs> at this point, the spirit of Dead by Daylight and your bank account combined have said, that's enough. That, that's good for now. Maddie Grace said, I'm known for my dad jokes. Can you tell us one? Ooh, do I know a good dad joke? I need to think about that. And, and yet, and yet, and yet it's never ending, Amanda. Oh man, give me a sec. Good. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> Amanda, thanks for five gifted members. Um, Static said, I got a list of names and yours is in red underline. And like, like in the, like in a death note, <laughs> like in a death note way, like, like in a way where you feel as though, um, you want me eliminated, <laughs> but is my name in red underlined? Like, oh, Loey, love Loey. Like, like what, what is it? What is it static? How is it underlined? Because I both feel fear and adoration. Oh no, the Taylor Swift way. But I mean, I know that, but it felt a little threatening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I knew the Taylor Swift. I knew the blank space way. Like I knew the got a long list, got a, got a list of Starbucks lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane. Like I knew, but I didn't know you were being nice to me. Wait. Oh, I've got a list of names and yours is in red underline. Me mixing up that and blank space. She talks about underlining people's names a lot in her music. I just now realized. Oh, man. Okay, fine. So it is in a foreboding way. It's not in a nice way. That's fine. That's okay. Just check it again. Check it again and make sure I'm still there. This is all going wrong. <laughs> Poor static. <laughs> Taylor does have the death note. The lag is crazy. Me like just now catching up on what's happening. Well, static does know that Look What You Made Me Do is my favorite Taylor Swift song. Which, oh my god, the fact that she's just... Okay, I'm setting the self-care uh, timer. Rule for my streams. There's about a thousand of you in here currently. Um, rule for my streams, just because I... Now that we do it more, I just want to make sure we're, like, taking care of ourselves in between these long periods of time. We're going to set this for an hour. And now is the time, because we've already been chit-chatting for about 45 minutes. If you guys... Oh, it's been 50 minutes. If you guys do not already have water or anything like that, make sure we go and get some of that. But at the hour mark, we are forced to take a break. We all have to get up. We all have to stretch. We all have to go get some water, eat some snacks and stuff like that. Um, the fact that we're just going to get... <laughs> Static said I was going to use dress lyrics, but that was too much. You, you know, you know, apparently you do need a liar. The fact that she's just going to drop reputation out of nowhere. The fact that reputation is coming. The fact that we don't even have 1989 TV and reputation is coming. That's crazy. That's insane. We are, it's just going to be, there will be no explanation. There will just be reputation. Like, oh my God. Does a protein shake count? Yes, Brooke, but make sure you're also eating something else and drinking some water later. No, Gemma, you're good. Welcome to the stream. We're starting, um, we're probably starting in the next like 10-ish minutes. <laughs> 1989 is so good though. I'm really excited for both of them. Thank you very much for joining the memberships. Uh, Be Witch, welcome, welcome. Okay, so the thought that I have for tonight, here's, here's what I'm thinking. We do Bizarre Bub tonight, right? Biz oh my god. Yeah, Bizarre Bub. Sorry, I was just thinking Life of Luxury, Bizarre Bub. I can never keep them straight. We do the TikToks, the Bizarre Bub tonight. Tomorrow, if, excuse me, if I can fit in a stream, it will be in the middle of the night. And we can watch the new Life of Luxury video. You know what I mean? Like, would that not be fun? If I got home post a word show, a little tipsy, I'm still dressed up. My hair will be an entirely different color than it is right now. My members know what color that is. It's my latest members post. I talk about some things that I'm doing and some secrets that I wanted to share. Um, 
my hair will be a totally different color. I'll be all dressed up from the streamies. I won't even take off my like gorgeous red dress or anything. I will just walk into this home and we'll just live stream in the middle of the night and watch like, and, and just watch Life of Luxury. That's what I'm thinking I want to do. But that's also why I was like, I don't want to promise anything just in case. But like we can certainly watch a little Life of Luxury in the middle of the night. Hina asked what I'm wearing to the streamies. Okay, so I want to surprise you, but I'm wearing red. Um, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to wear my short hair in the new color it's going to be, or if I want to do a monochromatic red look. I might either do my short hair, my bob, in a different color than purple, because I wouldn't do purple with red. Or I might do a dark red wig with a dark root. I, you guys have seen it before, probably. Um like a long dark red wear, uh, wig. Static, do not, do not roll through. Do not roll through unless you can, my darling. I know you are busy. Molly, finally home after a long day. What a lovely surprise that you're live. Perfect way to end my day. And congrats on the show. Can't wait to watch. Thank you, Molly. And thank you very much for your super chat. Hope your day is going okay and you get to relax now. Okay, then said we need a T-Swift conspiracy theme. I will drain my bank account to talk about this. Dude, tell me why for a while now I've been thinking that one of the videos that I want to do um, is on the haunting of Taylor Swift like dissecting her lyrics and the way that she uses the word haunting to talk about like the lingering of emotions and like the 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 rep representation of the past you know i've always wanted to make that video but honestly we could do it as a stream instead <laughs> no scuttle is the um scuttle is the seagull okay then the crab is sebastian the crab is Sebastian, who could also definitely be Drew. Um, Amanda said, finally playing DVD with Drew and Loey, Taylor Swift. I think that we could convince Taylor to play Dead by Daylight with us, Amanda. I think that that could be very certainly. Um, I, I truly believe that we could swing. It's like, tell me, maybe I'm Delulu, but I feel like she played DVD with us sometime. We can manifest that, right? Quartz 13, thanks for six months. I love you, love the purple hair. You are loving it on its very last night on earth. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Honestly, if you guys wanna get one final look at this cute little purple bob, um, I have truly loved this hair. I mean, when I cut it off, I thought it was gonna be dyed the new color instantly. I thought that the minute that the purple got mostly cut off and you could you can see how grown out my roots were i thought i would just not want to keep it purple but the color has stayed well the purple has served me well it's just time to move on i like i feel like i've slayed the most i'm going to slay with this hair when it was debuted for my lover outfit for the taylor swift concert i was just like oh i'm never gonna outdo this i'm never gonna outdo this little miss purple bob really and truly has served me so very well during our time together. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Jesse D's, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have ya. Love you very much, Jesse, as well. <laughs> Stephanie Brown said, uh, thank you for being amazing. Thank you for being amazing. And here's Stephanie, happy four months. And then Evie said, uh, me talking to my dog about how uh, about no bone because she chewed it all up my phone flashlight turned on and it's not in my hands so hmm, guess ghosty saying hi hi ghosty hi ghosty hi ghosty Eesh. you guys i cannot begin to express to you how excited i am to make manifestation content it's absolutely crazy i'm still trying to let the notification box on screen catch up with all of the donos i might end up turning it off just because i know it'll be there the whole time we watch them but between reyna and static and amanda we have like so many new members tonight and all of you guys who joined as well outside of that but um i think it's just going to be coming up and coming up and coming up and coming up 
Uh, Digi said, I would love an Animal Crossing stream. Okay, I'm not sure I could do that for you because I don't know how to hook up my Switch, but would you maybe like a Stardew Valley stream instead? I downloaded all of these like scary Stardew Valley mods, like spooky ones, and I'm not very good at modding, so of course things are not working. I like I couldn't stream it tonight or anything. I'd have to like do a little bit more finessing and make sure everything's working right before I streamed it. But I thought about doing a scary Stardew Valley farm and then sharing it with you guys. And um, maybe you could help me pick my spouse. But really and truly, there are only two, well, I was going to say there's only two answers and that's Abigail or Sebastian. I think that would be the only two options for like a horror themed farm. Like, it would either have to be Abigail or Sebastian, right? Like, or, uh, yeah, I just, I don't think it could be anyone else. But but it's it's always either those two or it's Haley. My bimbo queen. I love her so bad. Or Elliot. I feel like, I feel like every time that I talk about, like, my love for Haley, people are like, she's, like, so mean. And, yeah, that's what I like about her. She's evil. <laughs> She's so fine. I love her so bad. She's like one of my favorite bachelorettes. Summer said, I need opinions from fellow Swifties. Uh, how likely it will be that Harry Styles be on 1989 TV because I need it. Summer, when they filed the copyright for Style Taylor's version, I think Harry Styles is listed as a copyright holder on it. Like, I think that he just is on the stream. I, I stream. I think he is on the album. Like, I'm just fully, like, I'm just saying he is. Like, I'm positive he is. You could not convince me otherwise, actually. They're playing my chemical romance. Loey, you know I'm scared of emos. Kill us. That's literally what Haley says. She's like looking at uh, my farmer running around with uh, with <laughs> with Abigail or Seb. I also have a mod that like lets the children take after the spouse, which could be kind of cool. I don't know if it'll work with other mods that I have, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, eee, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Mary Bell, welcome to the channel memberships. Thank you so much for joining the Love Bug tier. I appreciate you. Um, Pumpkin Queen, thanks for four months. Just wanting to say I love you. I love you more. Did you say I could be the spouse slash gay J? Um. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, donating through Tiltify, Amanda. That's very sweet of you. I will, I will put you into prison for that. You can you can certainly donate through charity and that's allowed. <laughs> Amanda said, hee hee hee, Amanda attacks for charity. Um, speaking of charity, we are so freaking close to 4,500. We are only $42 off from hitting $4,500 raised for Make-A-Wish. You guys have until the end of the month and we still are donating some stuff from our community as well, like from the AdSense from our VOD, our charity stream and stuff. So. Very proud of you guys. Thanks for continuing to donate to make a wish. Um, okay, I'm reading. It was Lacey J. Hello, Lacey J. If Taylor's haunting is the past in relationships, tell us what's haunting you, Loey. <laughs> um, what's haunting me? Wait, do you want an actual answer? Like, do you want an actual emotional answer? Like, like, do you want to have a conversation about this? Because the rest of your message was so very sweet. It said, love you and I'm so giddy when I get to catch you live. I love you very much, Lacey. Um, I think what's haunting me is myself. I think like if, if the idea of what haunts us is like the things that we think about in the middle of the night, like the things that keep us up, I think the thing that keeps me up at night is me. It's constantly outdoing myself, but having this weird pressure that I have to outdo myself. I was writing recently about like, like working with my inner child and like what that's taught me and stuff and how like I spent so many years of my life just like trying to outrun who I used to be. Like just, just literally trying to like, 
take that childlike portion of myself, everything I used to be when I was younger that I felt like was so cringe and so bad and so like, like a kid. And I tried to bury it. And now I feel like, I feel like I'm haunting myself. Does that make any sense? I feel like at 30 years old, what haunts me is the ghost of who I used to be and who I rejected for so very long. And I hope that wasn't too deep. <laughs> that I, I truly, I, I hope that was okay. Raina, ah, thank you so much for $40 to uh, make a wish. That's so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Oh my God, we are $2 off from 4,500. Listen, listen, if somebody donates $2 to make a wish, then we hit the scary stories to tell in the dark goal which means I have to do a scary stories to tell in the dark live stream and I would have to do it by the end of the month. When could I do that? I could do it on Thursday. I would have to do it Thursday. I'm not gonna be home until Wednesday. And we could do it to benefit Make-A-Wish again. Like, thank you very much, Rena. I appreciate you very, very much. But um, back to <laughs> the haunting of Louie Lane. Um, Cause a lot of you guys are resonating this with this like yeah I mean like I think like I think that what haunts us what like scares us the most about ourselves too is like what we end up it's weird because like yes I'm haunted by this sense of like self and by this sense of um who I used to be but not in a way where I'm embarrassed of her or upset by her it's like I'm haunted by it in like this way where my inner child, like little baby Lo, sits in the corner of every room that I'm in. Like, I can feel her at all given points in time and feel her excited, feel her terrified, like bewildered by all of this, but like, she doesn't want to talk to me. Does that make sense? She is what haunts me. And my entire life's purpose actually at this point in time through therapy and stuff like that is me trying to reconnect with her, um, which has been exhausting and very hard. Thank you very much, the Evil Static GN, for donating $2.99 to Make-A-Wish. With that, we have hit $5,000 uh, raised for Make-A-Wish. I am so insanely thankful for you guys. Thank you also to uh, Grizzy. Grizzy? It's not coming up yet for me, but thank you very much, Grizzy Door, for uh, donating to Make-A-Wish. We will uh, do another oh my god wait can i not count we're so close to five thousand i'm just doing it anyway i see i said we would have to hit five thousand i think i meant 4500 i don't know why i thought that actually i don't know why i thought we were about to hit five thousand why did i think that <laughs> we're so close we still have money from the um the um vod too to donate so i we're just gonna do the charity a, a secondary charity stream on thursday it will not be sanctioned by make a wish so it's not going through them but oh maggie i'm so sorry i missed your super chats um but it won't be sanctioned by make a wish <laughs> but they will not mind me going live again to raise more money i need to double check that that's not ending before then we could do a different kind of charity stream, but I'd love to do make a wish. Let's see. By August 31st, 2023. So we're good. We'll we'll still be able to stream on Thursday and raise a little bit more money for make a wish. I don't know what I was thinking. It, it, it says we haven't hit 5,000. I know we would by the time that I give whatever that VOD has made. Um, in the meantime, from like AdSense and stuff like that, like I'm sure we would hit that. So let's call it good. We will, in fact, don't let that stop you if you want to keep giving money to make a wish. I can't believe I, I truly thought we were about to hit 5,000. Why did I think that? It's because we were hitting um, 4,600. That's so funny. I think I thought about it like an hour 
Does that make any sense? I thought about it like an hour. Like I thought when it hit 60, it was gonna be there. And, am I making any sense? Anyways, I don't know why I thought that, but I love that basically no one called me out. They were all like, yeah, hello. <laughs> um maggie may said hey girl how's my gorgeous bestie i'm currently self-reflecting a little bit too hard maggie if i'm being so honest with you maybe a bit too much self-reflection i will go back to reading off the tiltify as well um in a sec um becca yeah becca said never mind we'll just hit we'll we'll just hit the five thousand. that's you guys are incredible ah oh, chef's freaking kiss you are such good eggs it's crazy becca that has not come up for me yet but ooh, ooh, oh i i am so impressed by you thank you so much thank you becca that still hasn't come up for me but thank you yeah, make a, yeah, charity, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so proud of you guys. You make me so freaking proud. Um, Let me read the super chats and then I'll get back over to Tiltify. Super Sam 1397, hey, you rock, Loie. You rock, Sam. Thanks for being here. Amanda said me and Drew are haunting by living in her walls. That's also true. What haunts me is uh Drew and Amanda. It's certainly Drew and Amanda. Anna B, thank you for one month. Love you being here. Glad you like the videos. Allison Rose, love. Thanks for five months. Love seeing you live every time. Makes my day. I love you, Allison. Man, all of these freaking Tiltify campaigns, dude. I don't want to swap back and forth. But why is why is Becca's donation not coming up for me? Grr. Growls. You guys are so freaking cool. Okay, I'm finishing these up and then I'm getting over to Tiltify. Um, Allison, thanks for being here. Maggie, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. That's so generous of you. And then Alyssa Straight, thank you for five gifted memberships. Also, thank you for your super chat, Alyssa. I love you very much. Alyssa Renee as well. Alyssa Straight, thank you for the super chat and the five gifted. And then Alyssa Renee said two months. It's only been two months. Feels like a lifetime. I love you. I love you, Alyssa. Um, Amanda said something very sweet. Amanda said, Loie, you can never be cringe. You are perfect in every way. If anyone tells you anything different, they're wrong. I hope you have the best night. I love you so much, Amanda. And then Allison Rose Love, thank you so much for a gifted membership. I appreciate you. You're very generous. Ren, happy two months. I'm glad you've been a member for two months as well. And then, not gonna lie, Seacat, happy six months. Love you. And then over on Tiltify, oh, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Freaking incredible eggs. The Evil Static GN, Blair Witch, Anonymous, Becca J. Thank you again, Becca. That was so generous. Not gonna lie, see Cat, Super Sam 1397, Joyce 925. Thank you guys all so very much for gifting to make a wish. Old Caven also said, just doing something good because I can. Love you all. So real. So real. Thank you, Old Caven. Lexi Morin, thank you very much for that. Anonymous, thank you. Angie Cardona said sending love, thank you very much. Lilith Dice, Bog Dweller, Maggie May, V Amazing, thank you guys very much for gifting to Make a Wish. Jolene said girl math will get us to 5K. I completely agree. I see, we're basically there. We're at we're at four thousand. That's what happened. Is like we were at like forty four hundred, and I was like, oh, when we hit forty five hundred, that's like five thousand. That's just how that works. And then look at that. We're so close to 5,000. We, we basically hit it. Now we're going to have another charity stream this week. But so true. Girl math does get us there. Danny XX, thank you so much for donating to Make a Wish as well. Man, what an eventful freaking hour, you guys. I am so thrilled that like we were just able to raise so much money for Make a Wish. You guys are incredible. Thank you so, so much for doing that. I honestly make a wish uh, is such an incredible uh, charity. I'm so excited to do a second charity stream now. And yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so pleased. You guys are so good. You're so good, man. I'm manifesting that you all get everything you want in this life because you're all such a sweetie. Um, Such sweeties, rather. I need to turn off. 
that, but I also don't want to. Uh, that might have just played for you guys as well. I really don't want to turn off the sound for Make a Wish. I just want to lower it a tiny bit. I don't know how. If I turn that down to here, will that work maybe? Danny, again, thank you for uh, the gifting to make a wish. And then Bet Betsy, thank you so much as well. I've got to figure out how to turn that down, but I really have just no idea whatsoever how to do it. I don't think that was happening during our make a wish stream, though. Was it? Was that happening during make a wish? I wonder why it got so much louder. That's so weird. Because remember during the charity stream, it wasn't it was not that loud. I do love getting to see this because it does feel like I'm just like, yeah, along with you guys. I just whenever we start, I don't want it to be like too loud, you know? Okay, I think I figured it out. Done there. And then it may still make that noise again. Oh my god, sorry about that. <laughs> the test, the test noise. Thank you guys so much for gifting through Mega Wish. I am just so freaking thrilled, dude. It is so sweet of you. It is so, 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 so sweet. I have no idea how to turn it down. I've got nothing. I've literally got nothing. If I turn that off, does the sound still come through? I don't want it to be turned off though. I want it to stay. Okay, I think I'll turn it off just while we watch the videos. Um, but I don't even know if the sound will still come through. <laughs> that will be even funnier is if the sound comes through while we're watching videos. And the pop-up doesn't come through. You just hear... Like... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm catching up then we're getting started. Um... Alyssa Street said, yay for Saturday Lowy stream to for the biggest week of this year. My oldest baby starts preschool, youngest turns one, and this mama is going back to work as a nurse. Love you so much. I love you more, Alyssa. Thank you so, so much for being here. And it sounds like you're having a very big week, so I hope you're able to decompress and hang a little bit. Jinxie also said, hey girl, glad you're streaming. I'm currently in the ER and seeing you live makes me feel better. I'm so happy you're here, Jinxie. I hope you're feeling okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Sounds like something crazy happened between last time I saw you and now. I hope you're feeling okay. Carson also, that's my cat's name. I love the name Carson. Hi, hello, you're my fave YouTuber and I love your vibes. I just compared you to my cat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you very much. I love you very, very much. Thank you for being here and thank you for that very generous super chat. Ren also said late by an hour because I had a pretty rough few hours, but glad I'm here. Looking pretty as always, Loey. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a fantabulous day, honestly, mostly because I'm hanging out with you guys. I'm doing great. Doing absolutely phenomenal. Maggie Mays also said, I'm self-reflecting too, girl. I feel you so much. Sometimes it's a little hard to just look in the mirror and keep looking. Like, I am just sleepy. <laughs> I'm just tired of constant self-reflection. You know what I mean? Also, Alyssa Strait said, uh, I watched your witchy video this weekend and brought three different journals at Target to start manifesting. And ordered crystals. Love. 
love oh my god cute thanks for two months babe i love that video i was just talking about how i am most definitely going to um what is this music most definitely going to make more content like that on my second channel which is so fun um okay so it does just like quiet the notifications if i turn off the notification box so i'll do that in between us like i'll do that once we start watching videos and stuff but i'll probably turn it back on for the um that's probably why those didn't come up though now that i'm thinking about it because i turned off alerts during my my original um charity stream because like i wanted people to donate straight to the charity we donated like the super chats and stuff at the end of the night that did come through but that's probably why i'm hearing them now because like i don't think they were coming up before like i don't think they came up on the last charity stream thank you so much to anonymous and also Chan chantelle for donating to make a wish uh chantelle also said it makes me so happy seeing so many people supporting make a wish i was a wish kid when i was little and they're such a lovely organization make a wish is an absolutely incredible charity i adore them they are just the coolest people ever like they I, I just love them so much i love what they do and I'm, I'm i'm so happy to hear from uh a wish kid here in my chat i'm glad that you're here babe they are just so great and i'm glad that they were able to do something for you as well also anonymous thank you for that donation i appreciate it okay so am i caught up on super chats as well yes we are finally getting started let me turn off the music uh because I don't know how to tell you all this, but I have 33 TikToks to share with you today. We are going to be watching a Bizarre Bubs scary compilation from 2021. So these were the scariest videos that he would have showed throughout 2021. As I was kind of like skimming this, because it's like an hour of scary videos, I was like, dang, like a lot of these are TikToks. A lot of them are just shot vertically. They're like videos that maybe I've seen on TikTok before or like heard of, but also I don't think I've talked about any of these before. So this would be TikToks you've never heard of. And honestly, some that I never have either. And they were apparently the scariest clips of the year throughout 2021. So that's kind of cool. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. How much longer do we have? We have about 30 minutes left on the self-care timer as well. Rye, hold on. Riley, I might have to go put his cone on really fast. Oh man, my poor babe. I'll do it during the, the, um, yes, yeah, Sadik, you're allowed to grow up in it. He's the aunt. I feel so bad, you guys. Um, so my dog Riley has paw cancer in case you, you aren't caught up. And um, I took him to the dentist the other day because he also had a tumor in his mouth. And I had heard from a couple of vets who couldn't do a surgery, they just couldn't fit him in, that the tumor in his mouth could be cancerous as well and it could correlate to the tumor on his paw. So I'm like, I have to just take care of these one at a time. Nobody would take care of both tumors simultaneously. I finally take him to the vet and the vet's like, this is not a cancerous tumor, you're fine. Um, like I finally found him a dentist. And so now we have to take care of his paw first. Riley, Rye. But because he, you're so good. Yes, you are. You're totally right. Um, but because he, uh, he was at the vet, he's been really stressed out <laughs> and he's just been chewing on his paw. I try to keep his cone on as much as I can without like leaving it on the full day but I think he'll need it back on. He just started playing with it again. I usually put like medication and stuff on it too. So. Um. Okay. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. He really truly is. Oops. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's see. Let me actually do this. I forgot to drag these screens over for easier access. Um 
No, Tiltify, everything through Tiltify goes straight to Make-A-Wish. Absolutely everything. And Tiltify is a completely reputable source when it comes to, um, to giving money to charity. So what we're going to try to do is I will play a few seconds. We'll see where the audio is at. And then if it's good, we'll keep watching. If it's bad, I'll check in with you guys. That's pretty loud. That's pretty loud. The following footage was posted by Vanessa Boleyn, who had caught something disturbing like on her there. doorbell camera. Right? I think maybe a little bit lower than that. It's a little bit loud on my end, too. I checked Make-A-Wish, nothing showed. I mean, I, I worked directly with Make-A-Wish for this campaign. Like, I have worked directly with Make-A-Wish for this campaign. I don't know what to say that would prove to you that it would be going to charity otherwise, but I, none of the stuff that's donated to Tiltify ever crosses my hands. I really encourage you guys to use Tiltify too. They're great. People use them for charity all the time. Vanessa writes, I grew up in a haunted home with paranormal investigators and priests constantly coming to my house, so I don't get that scared easily. Is that good but for last you guys night, or more? I saw this through my ring. Good or more? I don't know. It also doesn't help that everybody's like, you can rewind on um, streams. So people are at like different, different points. Good, 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 good now. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a try. And if it's still kind of loud after this first one, we'll change it again. But the ticky tackies begin. Let's see. Okay, all right, we're getting into it. The following footage was posted by Vanessa Boleyn, who had caught something disturbing on her doorbell camera. Vanessa oh writes, boy. I grew up in a haunted home with paranormal investigators and priests constantly coming to my house, so I don't get that scared easily. But last night, I saw this through my ring camera at 11.30 p.m., and it was the only time that I truly felt scared. This is what she'd seen. Be sure to look closely or you'll miss it. Okay. So this is what was spotted on the ring camera. It does look like somebody's standing there, right? That's what it... Oh my God. I thought that maybe that was... Oh my God. I have chills. What is that? A faint image of what appears to be a face can be seen hiding behind the flowers. It's hard to make out what this is, but it seems like someone or something is looking at the doorbell camera. But as always, I'll let you decide as to what this might be. What exactly is being seen on camera? I literally saw this and was like, oh my god, like there's just something in the dark that kind of looks like a face. Why is that person's eyes so big? Why are they staring at the camera like that? No. No. Thing is looking at the doorbell camera. But as always, I'll let you decide as to what this might be. What exactly is being seen on camera? Nightmare fuel, bizarre bub. Nightmare fuel is being seen on camera. What the heck are we watching? It's the middle of the night. Oh, An old deject is on his phone when something downright creepy happens. In the corner of his room, there's a doll. Old deject writes, I was on my phone in my room when I heard something. This is what he caught. is that doll? And why is it in your room? 
when he moves, I'm going to jump out of my skin. Oh my god, 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 sorry, 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 I screamed, I'm so sorry, oh my god. The doll appears to have moved by itself. Now, it could be that gravity was responsible for this, but whether or not this was something paranormal, the video is still nonetheless pretty creepy. Like, that's just, that is just a ghost, right? That was just a ghost. Why did he have, like, why does it look like Jigsaw, first and foremost? Why why does it look like Jigsaw? And why is it there in the corner of the room? I'm so confused. Like, get out of here. Oh my god, why is it there? Ugh. Creepy. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that was definitely paranormal. Normal. The video is still nonetheless pretty creepy. A dog and her owner are both home alone Happy. when the following happens. The owner who posted the video writes, Hazel has been growling for 10 minutes. I checked the security cameras to see if someone was outside, but there wasn't. So I decided to record her, as this isn't her normal behavior. Okay. This is what was caught. Mr. Our spirits here. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. You must leave. You're not welcome here. Understandable. The hallway just got darker, right? Am I imagining that? Oh, Hazel got. Oh, Hazel got freaked. What is Hazel seeing, and what might be the reason as to why she's growling? It's believed that dogs can see things such as entities that we can't but I'll let you decide as to whether or not she's actually seeing something. As always, feel free to let me know what you think. I don't know, that dog definitely saw something, right? Like, it kind of looked like, it It sort of looks like, whenever he starts the clip here, like, wait, where is the full one? Is it right here? After she says, like, whatever you are, you have to leave, is when Hazel has that reaction. Number one, I love pitties. Pitties are like my, I have three huskies, so you might think huskies are my favorite breed of dog. It's actually pit bulls. I think they're the cutest, the best dogs. They're such little babies. But this dog is freaked out by something. You see that? That is a dog who is seeing something that the owner cannot see. I am convinced of that. What might be the reason as to why she's Those captions are on. He's growling. If you mean like the closed captions is in like the um the ones that might match up perfectly with what he's saying, unfortunately, uh these are just the ones that are on the video. But that's the only closed captions I got. I'm sorry. If I had anything else, I would turn them on. I know it's not necessarily the best every time. It's believed that dogs can see things such as entities Hazel, that we can't. Best dog. But I'll let you decide as to whether or not she's actually seeing something. As always, feel free to let me know what you think. A garment factory in Japan has been experiencing strange activity. Oh it was just recently that the factory's surveillance cameras had caught footage of the strange things that have been happening. When the owner of the factory had seen the footage, he was shocked but he wasn't shocked for the reason you're probably thinking. The factory owner himself best explains the footage that was captured. Take a look. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He had seen the footage. He was shocked, but he wasn't shocked for the reason you're probably thinking. The factory owner himself best explains the footage that was captured. Take a look. There was a part-timer named Miss Tanaka, but she passed away last year. She's worked for this company for 20 years. Oh, do you see that? 
and was liked by other part-timers. All the orbs? Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no. The sewing machine that is working is the one that Miss Tanaka was using. It is rumored among other part-timers that Miss Tanaka is coming to work. This mannequin was her favorite. She said, I'm scared of this mannequin. Suddenly it starts moving at night. I'm scared if this mannequin... <gasps> Wait! Oh my god, I thought that maybe the mannequin was haunted before Miss Tanaka got there and the subtitles were wrong, so I was like taking creative liberty. But she made a joke like, I'm scared if this mannequin suddenly starts moving at night. I'm scared of this mannequin suddenly starts moving at night. She would also playfully dress up this mannequin. Also, uh, to whoever said to turn it up, I did just a little bit, but I'm just trying to make sure, like, to, I guess, like, say what's being said. Is this in Japanese? Let me know if the volume gets... I only turned it down so I could read the subtitles, but if that's, like, fine, then I can absolutely leave it there. I just thought, like, I just thought, I didn't want you guys, like, struggling to hear what I'm saying, and I was going to, like, read over it, you know? There's, like, no noise or anything coming from any of this. Like, back in this footage. Like, see, there's no audio or anything. It's just her voice that's coming through. That's why. Um, okay. Oh, dang. Okay, I'll, I'll move my cam for a sec. And then I'll read that. Thank you so much to um, whoever just donated through Tiltify. Sorry, I just realized I didn't turn off the uh, notifications on this screen either. Um... Leah, thank you so much for the donation to Make-A-Wish. I really, really do appreciate that, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're going to turn off the alert box over here. Okay. Hey, Romy! So, this mannequin was her favorite. She said, I'm scared if this mannequin suddenly starts moving at night, and then after she passes, this mannequin starts moving. She would also playfully dress up this mannequin. And of course, it's just moving across the floor in the middle of the night. That's a lot of movement. That's gotta be Miss Tanaka, right? The factory owner believes. Like, that is just surely her spirit coming back to work at the factory more. How dedicated do you have to be to your job to come back in the afterlife to work? Oh, oops. Hey, Romy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So happy you made it here. Thanks for modding tonight. There's so many orbs in all of these pieces, too. The factory owner believes that if the ghost of Miss Tanaka is behind all these strange occurrences, then it isn't necessarily bad. After all, Miss Tanaka seems to be truly missed by her co-workers. Aww. These strange occurrences are probably the closest thing to having Miss Tanaka around one more time. Apparently, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they said that this lady was just really well loved by her co-workers. 
so maybe it makes sense she's still just around like if she was really loved by her co-workers maybe she also just really loved her job i think it's really interesting that in all of these like clips of things moving it's not just things moving look at all of the orbs everywhere and then you suddenly start seeing see that box just start moving across the room like i don't know i just really think that one's paranormal but what a hard-working ghost my ghosts don't put in that much work what the heck <laughs> they just knock things over in the night this thing to having miss tanaka around one more time the following segment features a set of videos of strange occurrences that have taken place inside a home. Very little information is given on these videos, but each one speaks for itself. Each video was shot in a room where most of the activity takes place. It is for this reason that a camera was placed inside to capture these strange occurrences. However, it seems that with each occurrence, the activity gets worse. Out of all incidents, the fifth occurrence is probably the creepiest. This is what was captured. Okay. Ooh, so a little five in one. We got a bunch of clips. Pretty quiet. I don't think anything's really being said. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. I thought. That looks like somebody was coming tumbling out of the closet. That just scared me so bad. Oh, wow. Capturing it from different angles is crazy. I wonder how long is between these clips. Why is this ghost so angry? And why is does it sound like somebody's dragging a chair across the floor in between every clip? Fire extinguisher just falling from the ceiling? I think it was. Did you guys see that? Oh my god, we're replaying this. Sorry. That's so crazy. Like, what falls? Because it looks like it's. Yeah, it's like the fire extinguisher thing from the ceiling. Oh my god! Okay. This is the scariest one, apparently. It's the last occurrence that's hard to explain. Somehow, the garment oh. in the basket appears to throw itself into the washer. My god! It could be that the video is playing in reverse making it seem as though it threw itself in when it actually fell into the basket. But even if the video wasn't reversed, it doesn't explain how the laundry fell into the basket on its own. Viewers can seem to explain this final clip, but what do you think? Had a poltergeist been caught on camera? Or was this something else? I truly believe this one is paranormal as well i mean these are like the scariest of the year for bizarre buff so he published these as like the scariest ones of the year so it makes sense all of them are paranormal but this one gave me like chills like goosebumps that was creepy because like when you see everything else that has happened so far um like when you see every uh, every other one of these occurrences this one is just definitely the scariest one but like also it's it's weird like why are you putting things into the dryer <laughs> or like why are you like that seems relatively normal but then you see the clip of like the fire extinguisher the the big like nozzle or whatever that's in the ceiling to put out fires like you see that fall on the floor and it's like that does not seem like a friendly spirit you know I would say it's a ghost doing chores, and yet the ghost is not being that helpful. General Shim is resting on his rooftop when he sees something that leaves him terrified. Okay. General Shim writes, I just wanted to loiter on my house's rooftop because the breeze there is soothing and fresh, but little did I know that someone else would be there with me. This is what he saw.
General Shim hopes that this was just a coconut on a tree. But what do you see? Could this be a case of pareidolia? Or an actual sinister looking entity? A family would be there with me. This is what he saw. With love and light, what is that? Like, what is that? There are like eyes in the dark. That is why I feel like I hear it all the time across TikTok these days, but you're not supposed to look into the trees. You can look at the trees, but especially at night, don't look into them. How is that a coconut? Like, I understand wanting to make yourself feel safe in this scenario, but how is that a coconut? How? How is that a coconut? Let me know. Actually, let me know when you find out, because you can literally see two eyes, a mouth, and then almost what... I, I don't even know what that is. I, I, how is that not a ghost? How is that not a demon? I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's paranormal and also maybe to run for your life. Case closed. <laughs> what is pareidolia? Let me Google it. So pareidolia is the tendency to perceive specific, often meaningful image in random or ambiguous visual pattern. So think like when you are looking at your ceiling and you've looked at this one part of your ceiling every single day for 18 years, but then suddenly you see a face in the ceiling like one night and you can't not see it again. Like I have like a repeating tile um, pattern in my bathroom and sometimes I'll see like random like images in it that definitely don't exist you just like your your brain will like make things out of nothingness and try to make sense of it this is not that this is something that you should pretend you never saw go inside and then never go back upstairs again like never come back upstairs to sit on the rooftop again also my chat is saying that this looks like a baby and i kind of agree sort of I don't know what it looks like, but whatever it is, I actually would like them both gone. So that's that on that. Could this be a case of pareidolia or an actual sinister looking entity? Mm. A family buys a doll from a thrift store. Haunted doll. But ever since buying it, <laughs> there's been nothing but strange occurrences taking place inside their home. Yeah. They believe that the doll is haunted and is therefore yeah. responsible for the strange activity that's been happening. From toys turning on by themselves, to things moving on their own, the family is stuck in a house that they believe is haunted. The family has no idea as to how they could stop the strange activity. Oh man. But then one day, a friend of the family suggested that they light a white candle by the doll in the hopes that doing so would stop the activity. They do just that. Why but something very strange happens. The family sets up a camera in front of the doll to capture anything unusual that happens. This is what they caught. Like maybe the white candle would be to encourage whatever spirit is attached to the doll to pass on, but I've never really heard of that. Oh, wow. Ooh. Glad that didn't catch the curtains on fire or anything. The candlelight mysteriously gets brighter but unfortunately, this had no effect on the strange activity. Things only appear to get worse. But then one day, Haunted the strangest Elmo? incident happens. Okay. The daughter is playing with the doll when the following is caught on camera. No, not the face. Ow. Oh, I see it. The doll hurt her somehow, and now you can literally see a face behind the doll. If you listen What did she say? Yeah. If you listen closely, you can almost hear what sounds like a slap. Oh the daughter God. even says that she was hurt. But what do you think? Did the doll actually slap her? 
or was it something else? Um, I definitely think that whatever is attached to the doll, like maybe it's a fellow child. Like maybe it's just a child spirit that doesn't know that it's passed on and this is like their doll. I think you really can see something down here. That could be an example of trying to make out a face though, where there's nothing. Like we don't really see beyond this. Like we have no idea what that is. It kind of looks like a face, but the fact that you can just hear a slap, like that's really weird. Amar Kate posted the following video and writes, we should have listened to the dog and oh, not no. gone downstairs. This is what they caught on camera. A puppy. He is upset about something. He doesn't want them to go down at all. Ooh, doggy is loud. Sorry. Where is he? Come on, we're gonna have to go and check. Leave him up here. Come on. Leave him up here. Oh! Oops, sorry. Where is he? Right, come on, we're gonna have to go and check. Leave him up here. Come Where on. Still on I wanna write smash. Did you hear it? Yeah, I did, yeah. Like something's in the kitchen. Is that a kitchen? It just sounds like things were moving. Yeah, it does look too. Just opened it. I don't know what they're saying there. Oh! oh my God. This is getting horrendous. This is getting horrendous. Look at it. It's smashed on top of that as well. Was someone in the house? Quick. Get my shoes. That's good. My shoes are upstairs. That's good. Why is Kathy? They're in the kitchen. Forget the keys, it's probably best to just leave. And of course, don't forget the dog. Yeah. Agreed, Bizarre Bub. Agreed. Actually, Bizarre Bub said it perfectly. Because what was that? The fact that the dog was going nuts too, and then they see like this. I was really like, oh, did someone actually break into this house? Is this like an intruder story? But you see the doors just like slam shut here at the same time too. Like somebody just like slammed them shut. Like they were walking towards the couple, like slamming it. Oh, that one was weird. That's really creepy. That's good. Kitchen. Oh, forget the kitchen. That's the self care timer, friends. Alrighty. So, as per you will rules of our stream we're gonna take a quick break here um i'm gonna catch up with the super chats i just saw digi um whitley thank you so much for your super chat earlier sorry it took me a bit to get to best way to end a saturday just found out i got the job in louis live congrats whitley i'm so happy for you thanks for hanging out with us tonight and then chroma welcome to the love bug tier of the channel membership so happy to have you old caven thanks for three months old caven said earlier about the person in the tree that's just me when i exfoliate y'all <laughs> Digi also said, why do people never listen to their animals? What? So real. So real and so true. You guys are just so real and so true, actually. I'm going to turn on some music. I'm not sure what to do because I am actually very hungry. I might grab some crackers or something in between the break. Um, I'll probably take about like three to five minutes, make sure the dogs have gone out, all that kind of stuff. Of course, Static, love you so much. Thanks for being here for a bit. We really appreciate it. Um, I say a bit, but it's been like two hours, honestly. Thank you so much for modding. Um, okay. 
Let's see, how far are we in that video? Oh, we're like 13 minutes in. Excuse me. Okay, I am gonna leave you guys with some music. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, why is the music not turning up? Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Okay, that was kind of hard to figure out. Okay, friends, I will be right back. During this time, make sure you're drinking some water, take your pills if you need to, if you've taken your medication today, or if you, um, rather if you need to take it. Eat a little sneaky snack, um, get up, stretch, do all that stuff, go to the bathroom. I will be right back for more videos.
Okay, I was like, do I want to get back up and like turn off the kitchen light, but Riley is eating right here, <laughs> and I don't want to like put him in the dark. Little old man, a little guy, he's just eating his supper, and he's so good at it. He's so good at it. <laughs> Mother was mothering. Mother was feeding her children because we're hungry. Mother also has Ritz crackers and Wolfpack, Wolfpack, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you. Mm, maybe I'll have mac and cheese for dinner later. little guys I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner it's really weird to be as deep in a 75 soft as I am at this point because I've been able to keep up with it fairly well I've had a lot of like I'm, I'm doing a vlog for 75 soft in case you don't know I'm doing um basically just trying to have it form over the next 75 days and I had always wanted to do this and I'm ending it on my dad's birthday so I don't think the failure is really an option for me in this but it's like I'm not letting myself order out. I have to eat well the entire 75 days. Like no, like 
Like, I haven't really eaten, like, I mean, I'm eating out, but I'm thinking about it, and I haven't eaten, like, fried food or, like, anything, really, since I started, and, like, just have been eating, like, so differently than I used to, but what I find is that, like, I feel like I'm cooking constantly because I'm eating at home. He's getting into that dinner. Um, yeah, while I was gone, one of the dogs ripped open a, um, apparently while I was streaming, they ripped open a bag of bladder supplements and ate 20 of them. Don't know which one it was. Don't know who got what, but incredible. Absolutely incredible behavior. Somebody is going to throw up later. Thank God they were like dog supplements that were supposed to be given to dogs and they just ate every single, like could not tell you who it was. No idea. Annie, Anne, that's not your supper. Thank you very much. Maka, that's not your supper. It's not, it's not your supper. Sorry, I was mothering again. They'll really have a healthy bladder, but man, that was um, that was thirty dollars down the hole. <laughs> Just like, yeah, they'll be okay. They'll be completely fine. Like I double checked all of the stuff. Like did a Google. They're okay. I um I would have called poison control if I was worried, but it's all dog safe stuff. They're just not gonna feel. Whoever got into it, they're not gonna feel well. But also those bladder supplements. They're like my big dogs would have gotten six of them. So honestly, not six. Sorry, four. So it's not like, it's it's not so bad. It's not great. It's just, you do have to just, a single mom who works two jobs. <laughs> like, I do love my kids and I do never stop, but Jesus Christ, at what cost? They said girl dinner is a million bladder control supplements. Oh man, he's drinking water. What a guy, what a dude. He's just headless tonight. He has not showed you guys his beautiful face in one time. You were very thirsty. I wonder if it was you who ate all those supplements. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> He's like, I'm back to eating every bit of this dinner. Yeah, someone's gonna have a really good bladder. You're gonna have to keep an eye on them a little more. Honest to God, they're huskies, dude. Stuff like this kind of just happens. Um, it happened tonight because I left out the bag of supplements. I was like cleaning my living room, opening up packages and stuff, hi. And I had like left the supplements in a place where they could grab them and then I live streamed for the last two hours so I wasn't able to keep an eye on them and I had these doors closed. So I trust me when I tell you, I'm home with them all day, every day. I keep an eye on them as best I can, but sometimes shit simply happens. Sometimes it simply happens. Trust me, I, I my dogs are my entire universe. There is not a bone in my body that does not prioritize them with absolutely every single thing I do. Like I, I am not like sitting here ignoring them and, and they're doing this all the time. It just very unfortunately happens. <laughs> it just happens and it's so sad, but honestly, this is one of the better things they've ever gotten into. Thank God it's never been anything bad, but you guys know that the dogs got into um, gummies. The two boys got into the weed, weed gummies earlier this year and I was like oh my god my dogs are gonna die like I literally like I was at the vet calling my friends sobbing hysterically like I'm going to lose my dogs because they got into and that entire story is a whole thing in itself I had no idea that they could open up a child proof lock basically but I learned my lesson I've learned lessons a lot with my dogs. I've learned that my dogs can open doors. Hades can fully stand on his hind legs and open a door. They can open the baby gate if they really feel like it. 
Hades is fully just, I mean, my dogs are, Hades is 85 pounds, Riley is 105, Riley is a big freaking dog. I feel like he looks so small, but he is a humongous dog, humongous, absolutely huge. And he's on a diet and has been steadily losing weight. Like he is just a humongous dog. Um, and has always been a big dog. He's always had a lot of like food scarcity because he's a rescue um, who came off the streets basically when I got him. His old owners, I lived next to them and they just let him run all over the road and he would eat out of trash cans. And then eventually they took him back in and they were mean to him. So I went and I took him and now he's my dog. And now we've been together for like a decade. It's been a long time with you and I, huh? Um, she's a perfect baby angel. She, I mean, she's not. She's really mean. Maka is really mean. But she's a perfect baby angel. A perfect tiny baby. So it surely wasn't her. I have to bet it was Hades. It was in his crate. And what are you doing, babe? Hi, gorgeous. What are you doing over there? Now I'm, like, keeping an eye on everybody. Girl dinner is weed gummies and 20 bladder supplements. So true, killer. So true. All right. Hey, Shelly J. Thanks for two months. Hey, Louie. I'm late, but I'm here. Happy to have you, friend. LK Vin also said, love having a dog, but there's so much work. My cats are so easygoing. I took it for granted. Dude, dogs are so much. Dogs are, dogs are so expensive, too. Dogs are so, wait, do you guys want to hear something crazy? Actually, I'm not like sitting here complaining about money in any capacity. I love my job. I am completely fine financially, but I've only really ever had like truly unwell cats. My cat Ezio passed away years and years and years ago and he was in heart failure. And I was used to vet bills with cats that were at the end of their life. And similarly with Gigi, she's in kidney, um, she's kidney disease and like I'm definitely used to those costs and those are a couple thousand dollars like whenever you have to take in like when I got all Gigi's teeth removed it was like like two thousand dollars when I had to take Gigi in recently for a round of blood work and x-rays and all this stuff to get her diagnosed it was another thousand dollars when I took when I took Riley to the dentist and granted I took him to a specialty dentist and I took him to someone who could see him immediately. They told me that his dental work is going to cost $6,000. $6,000. Like cat vet bills never get like that. Like, I don't know. My cats, like I said, have been sick. They've been unwell. But Riley literally just needs like this non-cancerous tumor removed from his mouth and he needs like two teeth pulled out that are just bad. 6K. Oh my God. I literally, I was in the office like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? So obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to a different dentist, but if it seems like, you know, of course he's in pain, I'll um, make sure he gets the, <laughs> the care he needs, but Jesus freaking Christ. 6K. Like, I could not believe how much money it was. Could not believe. And honestly, my dogs have always been fairly healthy. I've been very lucky with everyone, basically, but Anne. And she just has, like, crazy allergies and shit. Unreal. Unreal. So, <laughs> did you said Loki sends you chaos through your dogs? They really say, Mother, were you feeling... Were, were you feeling good about your financial habits after no longer ordering out anymore? That was part of the reasons I stopped ordering out. And that's part of the reason I, I did it for 75 soft. I was like, oh, I want to save money. And, and Riley literally said, you thought. <laughs> you thought. Like, oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> Raina also said, um, thanks for four months, Raina. Girl, yes, dogs are expensive. I had an emergency with an older dog two days ago because she scratched her ear up. They wanted $400 for an ear boo-boo. I know, I know. I can't even imagine once he gets the actual consultation for his toe, because he's gonna have to have a full toe amputation um, because of the, the cancer. Like I have 
no concept of how much money they're gonna want for that. Like, I just know it will be crazy. Absolutely crazy. I, you know, I think so too. A lot of people are saying like, it has to be because of your location because you're in LA. I think it is. And I think honestly too, I went to a very expensive dentist just because they could actually fit me in for a consultation. I was waiting on my vet because they have a dentist there, but they've been kind of understaffed this summer and I'm on a waiting list to get surgery done through them. But, um, so hopefully it will be much cheaper through my normal vet, but I, yeah, I went through like a, a proper uh <laughs> proper uh specialist for that and that oh my god i truly never pet insurance dude if i could get riley insured i would have but i waited way too long and now he's almost 14 or he might be 14 i'm actually not sure how old he is okay so let's hop back in Well, Kevin said, I, I pray to uh, Sekhmet and Bas Bastet for my kitty's health and uh, Hecate for my dog. And so far, all my prayers are answered. You know what's so funny is uh, Bastet, I hope that's how you say it. The day after I petitioned to like Bastet, I was like, can I just have my cat back? This was last two years ago now when Carson ran away in the middle of the summer. Or was this last year? I don't remember. But whenever that summer where Carson ran away for a full week, I've had crazy things happen with my pets ever since I moved to LA. Honestly, having nine pets by yourself has been absolutely bananas. Hi, Normie. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out for a sec. Um, yeah, you're good. What's up? Hi, baby. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, I petitioned to uh, Bastet, I think. And, um, well, I did, but I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. And Carson came home the next day. So that's cool. Um, what was that one adult swim bump that I talked about? Payment plan as well. Yeah, no, thank you, Trisha. I appreciate that. I know that I surely could also do a payment plan or something like that. It's it's not the end of the world. It's just, I don't think it's that expensive everywhere. So I might do a little bit of check-in. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But ultimately the most important for, thing for me is just making sure Riley's comfortable. So like, you know, right now it's not giving him any trouble, that lump, and now that I know it's not cancerous it's like I can focus on his paw first and taking care of the actual cancer um but the, as soon as I notice any like if he couldn't eat or like if it caused him like crazy discomfort I would have I, I would pay anything to make him feel well um which is my <laughs> my privilege in life <laughs> as a mother to to four dogs okay setting the self-care care timer back up oh my god I can't talk um thank you mods for being here yeah mod love mod love mod love mod love i've also been very lucky with riley this is really the first time like this cancer is the first time he's ever been like ill like this um I've been very lucky. I've been incredibly lucky with my dogs. My dogs have all been very healthy um, their their entire lives. And they're all older now, too. I just feel, honestly, I've been very lucky with my pets in general. I, you know, I feel crazy saying that, knowing that Riley has cancer and then G has, she's in kidney, um, not kidney failure, but she has kidney disease. But I still just am like, dang, like, I'm, I'm just so lucky. It's never been any crazier than that um Jinto Binto <laughs> welcome to the channel memberships <laughs> thanks so much for being here all right we're getting back into it he's it's probably best to just leave and of course don't forget the dog this was the end of that last clip 
two friends are inside a room recording someone who appears to be yelling at something. It isn't until they decide to approach this person that they see what it is that they're yelling at. What they saw left them more disturbed than before. This is what they caught. What do you want? Tell me what you want. Did you lose something? Do you want to cause us harm? What is it? What was that? I order you to leave this place. <gasps> It's like huge. Oh dear God. Why Why is it like swelling like that? It looks like it's literally breathing. It looks like it's breathing. Oh no. And now they're praying, I guess. What do you want? I don't fear you. Oh my God. <laughs> she said, get out of here. It comes back, even when she, like, tries to kick it. What do you want? She's ready to square up. There appears to be a small, shadowy figure manifesting and disappearing at the same time. I'll leave it to you to decide as to whether or not this was something paranormal. As always, what are your thoughts? I love the idea that because it's so small, many people, including myself, might think that's, like, a child spirit. Like, a child, like a very short child spirit. And this lady, like, knows better. Knows better than us, and that's why she will survive the scary movie. Because, <laughs> what do you mean? What is that? She literally just, like, kicked the hell out of it. I kind of, I, I honestly kind of respect that. Also, give me just one sec, guys. I'm just gonna, um figure out where I thought that window was over here. Okay, I just needed to be able to get access to my live chat back. Honey, we're not going outside right now. We're not doing that. I love you so much though. I respect you and I understand that you want to go outside. Maybe, um, I had cut these out earlier. Maybe you could have a T-R-E-A-T. Did you just tilt your head? I spelled it out. Did you see that smart ass dog? T R E A T. Do you Do you want a T R E A T? She said perhaps. Perhaps I do, mother. You got one too, Anne? You got Libby. Are you guys the only ones in here? You are. All right. Well, I'll save the other bit for someone else later. A security camera records a child who is inside a crib a child. when something downright no. creepy is captured. The child's mother had posted the following video as she doesn't know what to make of it. She was in the same room as her son when out of nowhere he began to cry. It wasn't until watching the footage that she was left disturbed. The mother writes, I'm still trying to figure out if the camera glitched or something pushed my baby. Also, in reference to, I'm seeing a little bit of discourse in the comments. I was just saying, like, this just looked like a short shadow. I would have assumed it's a kid and I would have coddled it. But this lady knew it was something else and that's why she kicked it. I, I don't think anybody is saying it is funny, but it was just funny that she, like, kicked the shadow specifically. Thoughts. A security camera records a child who is inside a crib when something downright creepy is captured. The child's mother had posted the following video as she doesn't know what to make of it. She was in the same room as her son when out of nowhere he began to cry. It wasn't until watching the footage that she was left disturbed. The mother writes, I'm still trying to figure out if the camera glitched or something pushed oh, my no. baby. Oh, I hate clips this, like this is what was caught. These scare me so bad. So this is mother speaking here. Sounds like TV is on in the background. Maybe it's really quiet. What the hell was that? 
What the actual hell was that? The child, what all of a that? sudden, disappears from the that? camera's view. How it did that happen? It appears that he was pushed over forcefully. The question is, though, what exactly had the pushed chair, him over? Like, the cradle in the back continues over. to swing as the child vanishes from the frame, suggesting that this wasn't a glitch. If it was, then the swing would have skipped a frame, just like the child had. But, as you can see, what? not a single frame is skipped. So then, if this wasn't a glitch, then what was it? No one else is seen in the room except the mother and child, and nothing appears to have pushed him over. As with all videos, it's up to oh. you to decide if this is something paranormal or not. The child's paranormal. mother has yet to figure that out. But as always, feel free to share what you think. That one was so scary and so upsetting. Like, I feel terrible for that mom. Like, oh my God. The the fact that the mom hopped up too, like I just don't think that was edited. But also how did that happen so fast? The entire chair just went over. It was like the whole thing had been flipped. Oh my God, poor baby. I This was posted so long ago, I'm sure they're okay. But that is terrifying. Chucho Gutierrez is a nurse who works at a hospital in Veracruz, a city in Mexico. It's 3 in the morning, and Chucho is filming his colleagues who are currently on break. But, as he records them, something disturbing is seen in the background. It's 3 in the morning. It's 3 in the morning. It's 3 in the morning. Feel free to share what you think. Sorry. Who works at a hospital in Veracruz. A city in Mexico. It's three in the morning, and Chucho is filming his colleagues. Oh, thanks, Hecate. I just saw that. Thank you. Are currently on break, but as he records them, something disturbing is seen in the background. It's three in the morning. Look at him watching memes like always. No way! Look. <laughs> A child is seen walking down the hall, but there's something off about this child. Moments later, it reappears, but this time crawling on all fours. <gasps> Perhaps this might have been a patient of the hospital who passed away. A spiritual cleanse might help with getting no. rid of those who've died, but whose presence still lingers. I, when, when the baby, like when in the original clip, in the original clip, it looks like the kid... Here, let me turn down the volume okay. down here. Um, so, oh my god, I cannot get this right. It's so long, it's hard to like rewind to the right point. Like, when the kid originally walks down the hallway, when something came back, I thought it was a dog. But it's literally the kid going that way, and then, oh my god. A child is seen walking. Oh, a child! No, this is terrible. No memes, como siempre. Chica, no mames, no, no mames, no mames, no mames. Mira esa madre. No mames. That is petrifying. A child is seen walking down the hall, but there's something off about this child. Moments later, it reappears, but this time crawling on all fours. Perhaps this might have been a patient of the hospital who passed away. A spiritual cleanse might help with getting rid of those who've died, but whose presence still lingers. I don't know if that was an actual kid, Bizarre Bub. Uh, personally, Ashley I'm not sure. and her fiancé are away from home. Sorry, let me... Ashley Rain and her fiancé are away from home when their security camera inside their apartment captures something disturbing. Ashley writes, We were moving out of our apartment and caught this on our camera. My cat won't take its eyes off of it. This is what she caught. Yeah, I can see the cat looking at something there. It looks like they're looking at something in the doorway on the, the left-hand side. Yeah, there's the arrow. What is it? Hi, Maka. You don't like it either? Oh my god. The fact that Maka has started crying during this clip is not making me feel any better. 
That's a person. That's a person. That's a why is it so big? Why is it so long? What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it doing? What is that? What is that? There appears to be someone or something peeking at the cat from behind the doorway, but it does so in a very strange manner. It seems to be peeking sideways with its hands gripping the doorway's yeah. frame on one side. But, as if that wasn't creepy enough, it seems to ascend and then disappear. Both Ashley and her fiancé have no clue as to what this could have been. Now, this could be someone who had broken into their apartment, but there's something odd about this person, and what they do seems physically impossible for anyone to I do. Don't, I don't understand! It's a good thing Ashley is moving out, as I doubt she'd want to stay there after seeing this. That was so scary. Literally, the one thing, like, the minute that I saw that clip, the only thing that came to mind was aliens. Like, this is just so clearly a face, but when it crawls up like that, like, is that just an alien? Is that just an alien? Is it just an alien? I feel like potentially. I don't know, personally. But I do feel like yes, also. For anyone to do. Okay. It's a good thing Ashley is moving out, as I doubt she'd want to stay there after seeing this. Morales, Debbie, and her friends are tubing through a canal when they capture something creepy on camera. The video was taken on July 8th of 2018, but prior to this date, about five years ago, someone had drowned in the same canal that Morales is in. Oh. Little does she know that she and her friends would capture something disturbing. Take a look. Oh no. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, no. It was only after posting the video on Facebook and being told by viewers about this that she noticed. Viewers think that this might have been the ghost of the victim who had drowned. Others think that this could have been something else, perhaps a creature. No one knows for sure, but it seems like more people believe that this might be the spirit of a deceased. But of course, what are your thoughts? I think that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life, and it deadass looks like the girl from The Ring in the water. No, Romy just said it's La Llorona. Shut up. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, you're right. Oh no. No. Guys, please stop fighting with each other. We, we cannot take this discourse in our family at this moment in time. I need the dogs to be normal. What? Do you mean? Romy, why would you tell me that? That's terrifying. Oh my god. Not a water ghost. That's so scary. That honestly might be the most like convincing footage of La Llorona I've ever seen on the internet. Like, I, it's not, they don't even say it's La Llorona. And yet I'm like, oh, that's her. There she is. Ooh. Ghost or not? My friend Audrey told me her daughter had a friend she played with, thinking just an imaginary friend. Audrey couldn't believe how fast her daughter's room would get Ooh, messy fine. right after- Come on, no, let's go. I don't want to have to close you out, but I will. Don't do that. Be nice, be normal, both of you. I don't know who started it. Be normal. You can lay down there, but be normal. Sorry, guys. My friend Audrey told me her daughter had a friend she played with, thinking just an imaginary friend. Audrey couldn't believe how fast her daughter's room would get messy right after cleaning it. So as her daughter was in the room talking to herself, Audrey decided to take a photo. Later that night... Alright, come on. Give me just a second, you guys. I'm so sorry. Come on, go. You have lost privileges of being in the room with mother. Actually, here, let me just turn off my webcam for a sec. Come on, you lost privileges. Let's go. Come on, no, that's not what we're doing. Come on, come in here, come on. Nope. Love you very much. Consider being normal in the future. 
love you and you don't you honestly didn't deserve it but if i'm kicking one dog out i gotta kick everybody out <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> my bad Okay. My friend Audrey told me her daughter had a friend she played with, thinking just an imaginary friend. Audrey couldn't believe how fast her daughter's room would get messy right after cleaning it. So as her daughter was in the room talking to herself, Audrey decided to take a photo. Later that night, oh Audrey was skimming through the photos, and this is what was in the photo. Oh, the imaginary friend is real. Audrey also adds that if you look closely, there appears to be a floating head by the closet doorway. Now, I know some people are what? against this, but maybe using a Ouija board might help in finding out if your child is playing with a ghost. It's our Bob. But it's probably best to seek help elsewhere, as reaching out to the dead <laughs> seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I love him so much. He's like, if you want to solve this problem, perhaps use a Ouija board. And then he says, actually, maybe this is not my finest hour. <laughs> like, no, Bizarre Bob. No, I love him so much. He's so funny. I love his compilations more than anything. But with this photo in particular, that is just like absolutely another child. Like there is clearly another kid in the room. I'm not so sure about the other head. Like that could be, oh wait, could you guys see that? I think my camera might be over it here. Hold on one second. I'm not sure if you guys could see the head when he shows that. To seek help in finding out, I know some people are against this, but- I know some people might be against this. So that's the supposed head that they think could be there. That could be something else. It kind of does look like a face here on a very like long body, but that also could just be the wall. And that could just be a face being made out of something else. But there is, that I'm not sure about. What I am sure about is that there is another child in that photo. They are absolutely not alone. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. is playing with a ghost. But it's probably best to seek help elsewhere, as reaching out to the dead seems like a bad idea. All right, next video. Bailey B works at an old theater that Bailey! is set to be haunted. I Although Bailey love Theater of the Absurd. This is one of my favorite TikTok accounts, and I don't think I've talked about it in a very long time. He loves his job. There's something about it he wish he could change. Hold on. There's something about it he that is said to be haunted. Although Bailey loves his job, there's something about it he wish he could change. He often works at night, and he doesn't like this. For some reason, whenever Bailey's on stage, he can't help but feel like there's someone there. It almost feels like there's someone watching him. It's for this reason that he often records while working. But then one night, Bailey receives a notification that a sensor has detected motion inside Ooh. the theater. Sorry guys, I didn't realize how, lar or how large, how um, loud this section was. It's this reason that he often records while working. But then one night, Bailey receives a notification that a sensor has detected motion inside the theater. Bailey writes, this is the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. I might quit. This is what he captured. Ooh. It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello? Okay. And then you can see what looks like two people sit standing up there, yeah. Up on the balcony. Like, dead ass just looks like two people up there, yep. That, there is just two people. There has to be. 
Like, this is not one of those where B Bizarre Bob is like, is it paranormal? Is it not? There were either two people there or those are absolutely ghosts. There is, that is not like a seeing something that wasn't there, anything like that. And I believe like so wholeheartedly Bailey's story. The videos that come out of theater, the absurd, are like terrifying. Bailey was in total shock and was trying to process what he'd seen. Now, it could be that someone had broken in and decided to seat themselves on the balcony. But given the history of this place, which has had numerous paranormal occurrences, mm -hmm. Bailey can't shake the thought of this being a ghostly encounter. Yeah. But if anything, Bailey can rest assured that he isn't losing his mind, as what he captured on camera shows that someone or something was actually watching him. Mm. Eddie Spaghetti, if you're still here, sorry I missed your super chat until now. Just wanted to say hi quickly because I'm too eepy to stay long. Also, just saw the ears on your chair and thought there was a full apparition behind you. So true. <laughs> so true. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to jump scare you. I freaking love Bailey's videos. The following video was submitted by Maria, who had caught her dog oh, no. acting very strange. That's a skewed puppy. Maria writes, It's been several days that my dog's been acting strange. She doesn't want to go to her bed, and she seems so scared to the point she starts shaking. So tonight, I decided to record her, and this is what I captured. That's a scared puppy. Go to sleep, come on. Go inside your cage. Go on now, go. There's something, no, something is over there. Go to your cage. Doggy does not want in. Go to sleep. Something is not right over there. She's just repeatedly telling her dog to go to bed and the dog does not want to go to bed. Like something is not right. Is there something there? Is that somebody standing there? For some reason, Maria's dog can't help but shake whenever she's near a specific room in the house. Now, it's obvious that her dog is shaking out of fear, but the real question is why? What might be the reason as to why she's behaving like this? Maria believes that a ghost might be responsible for her dog's strange behavior. Given the belief that some pets can see things humans can't, could it be that she's actually seeing something? Now what's even more creepy about yes, this yes. is that Maria claims to have caught the ghost on camera. According to her, there appears to be a face by the door. Uh huh. If you look closely, you'll be able to see it. Uh huh. What it exactly was like causing that. Maria's dog to act this way? I don't know, but the dog like being that fearful of that area, because for me, my dogs like love their crates. Like they just, I think that Riley's in there right now. I never close the doors, they just, lay down in there it's like their little bedroom and like it really is just when a dog acts like that like I always listen you know what I mean like I just there's something not quite right you know what I mean something's not quite right so listen to the dog is what I wanted to say listen to the friggin' dog creepy good night Mizzy good night anybody heading out Love you guys. Thanks for being here. Just realized I forgot to restart the recording, so I have to download this whole VOD. That's okay, though. All right, I'm going to start recording now because I think I feel like better quality if I do it this way. Celia Santos had posted the following video on Facebook and states that something terrifying had occurred at a mall in Brazil. The video was taken at 2.30 in the morning by a security guard who works there. Oh no. He was sure that he was the only person inside until he saw the following. The security guard had recorded this in the hopes that people would believe him when telling them about this terrifying encounter. This is what he caught. Okay. Yeah, there's clearly somebody going upstairs there. Like somebody's walking up or going up the escalator maybe. It's off. It kind of looks like a little kid.
And so they just start walking over. There appears to be a little girl on the escalator, who then disappears moments later. Now, this could have been an actual child, but what's a child doing inside a mall at 2 in the morning? I can't think of anything to explain at this, other yeah. than this being a child who was accidentally locked inside. Now, what's even more strange about this is that the escalator was powered off during the time of this recording. Knowing this, it doesn't make sense that the child was able to travel up smoothly without taking a single step. All in all, oh this one's pretty God. creepy. That is weird. It did look like she was walking in the clips originally, but like... All in all, this one's pretty... She's like gliding. She's gliding, baby. That one is creepy. That is one haunted freaking mall. Creepy. Fernando Victor works at a train station. What he does there specifically is unknown, but regardless of his task, he always seems to have late night shifts. However, it was during a late night shift oh when Fernando captures something terrifying on camera. Fernando and two other workers are walking beside a train that isn't in operation, when all of a sudden, he captures this without even noticing. Oh, that's somebody inside. No. There's like someone inside of there. There's someone in that train. Ew. Are they doing the overnight challenge? Someone or something appears to be looking at Fernando as he records them. What do you think this might have been? Viewers believe that this may have been the ghost of someone who was involved in a railroad accident. Now, it could be that this was actually a person but if it were, then how come this supposed person looks so creepy? Maybe, I don't know, maybe but whoever this look is, like. looks too dead to be alive. I love Bizarre. Whoever, oh, hold on, or whatever hold on. this is. We need to hear him say, I love this man so much. This supposed person looks so creepy. I don't know, but whoever this is, looks too dead to be alive. So true. Whoever, or whatever this is, remains a mystery. I personally do feel like for that one, especially since they're not like going on to the train to investigate any further you know what i mean like i just feel like that could be a person like somebody who's actually there like peering out to be like oh my god do like they see me but then at the same time the the eyes do look very sunken like it does kind of look like a creepy face but is every face just gonna look kind of creepy in the dark when you can't fully see the whole thing you know Chat saying their sockets. Demon from Sinister, <laughs> says Romy. Whoever or whatever this is remains a mystery. The, the father takes his wife and child to a theme park and, while recording them, captures something pretty creepy. The father states that after coming back That's from the theme park, photo. his daughter told him that she was scared of going back. But it wasn't because she was afraid of the rides, but because of something else. It was only after looking back at the footage he took that he understood why his daughter was so afraid. This is what he caught. Be sure yeah. to look closely or you'll miss it. Are they on Jungle Cruise? I didn't notice anything. Right behind his daughter, there appears to be a hand coming out of nowhere.
The scariest part about this though is the fact that it seems to be reaching out to her. But something else was caught on camera that also went unnoticed. Earlier in the video, the fall the, the haunting of Jungle Cruise is enough to send me into next like year. What? Else was caught on camera that also went unnoticed. Earlier in the video, the father is recording a boat that's passing by, when out of nowhere, he captures this. What Disney park are they at? Is it Tokyo Disney Sea? And why is it apparently haunted? Let's see. A hand again? What? No way. No, no, no. Absolutely not. I honestly have no explanation for this, but I have plenty of questions. I can't help but think that this might have been the same hand that appears later on. But what's even more creepy about this is that it seems to be trying to get the father's attention. Or could it be that it was trying to get the daughter's? There has yet to be an explanation for this. But as always, what are your thoughts? Um, I think that something is very wrong at Disney. And maybe that's a great time to plug the fact that I posted a video in the middle of the night without really thinking about the fact that I was posting it in the middle of the night. So I don't think most of you have seen it, actually. It's 10 scary uh, Disney animatronics that were abandoned by Disney. Um, it's actually probably, it took me maybe 20 hours to to completely make that video so please watch it <laughs> i spent a lot of time on it like i think over the course of the weeks as i've been writing as i've been downloading uh the footage as i've been filming filming alone took like two and a half hours um and then editing took forever so if you guys want to go watch the new video i would really 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 appreciate it <laughs> I don't know if I just wasn't thinking about the fact that I was publishing that in the middle of the night. But thank you very much for giving it a watch. Okay. Ali Aslan is inside an abandoned house that's located in the middle of nowhere. There have only been a couple of people who've checked out this place, but not okay. a single person had caught anything as unusual as Ali had when he paid a visit to this house. Ali is exploring the place when all of a sudden this happens. So maybe this abandoned house. Bismillah. What is it? What is that sound? Now, it's worth mentioning that during the time of this recording, it was raining. It could be that the strange noises were actually caused mm. by the storm outside. Maybe. That could be the case. But what happens afterward, as Ollie exits the house, oh is beyond explanation. Oh boy. What he caught oh on boy. camera is perhaps the creepiest encounter he's had. Be sure to pay close attention, or you'll miss it. Oh no! These are always the scariest ones. Were they there at the end, too? Oh, there's someone there. Just fully standing there. Oh no. Ali doesn't know what to make of this, but if there's one thing that most viewers can agree on, it's that this person or thing was most likely observing Ali during the time he was inside. If that's not creepy, then I don't know what is. So true, Bizarre Bub, so true. Ryan Hulse writes, So I was just sitting at home alone, the parents were out, 
and I kept hearing the weird sounds again, but this time I decided to record for a change, and this is what I caught. Really creepy. What the f- This is what I mean. Crazy sh So guys, home alone. Hello! Is that a light? Oh my f I thought that oh. the scary thing was the light that was on the wall and I was like why is the light freaking you out so badly? Oh no. Oh no. Oh Phone's upstairs. Oh my. I could. I'm leaving. The I'm leaving lights on. I swear to. I seen something. Yeah. Is there something up there? Is there something up there or am I crazy? It looks like there's something up there. It kind of looked like there was something up there. It kind of looks like there's something up there. I'm scared. I'm scared. Perhaps this might have been a stranger who broke in. Intruder or ghost. It's unknown as to who or what was inside Ryan's house. It No, but it kind of looked like somebody was sitting there. That's why I thought he left, because it kind of looks like somebody is, like, sitting up on the stairs. But maybe that's nothing, because he doesn't react to it. He just decides to leave. To me, that looks like somebody fully sitting there. I don't know. Perhaps this might have been a stranger who broke in. Intruder or ghost. It's unknown as to who or what was inside Ryan's house. Ellen Melbergstead is on her way to a doctor's appointment and is taking a shortcut through a park to get there. The video takes place in Sweden during the winter time, in the middle of the so night? it's mostly dark during the day. Oh. As she's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I'm like, why is it so dark? Why are you going to the doctor in the dark? And it's just normal. Ellen Melbergstead is on her way to a doctor's appointment and is taking a shortcut through a park to get there. The video takes place in Sweden during the winter time, so it's mostly dark during the day. As she's on her way to the hospital, Ellen takes out her phone and begins to record. But little does she know that she's about to capture something downright creepy. Check this that out. That looks terrifying, honest to God. Den här veckan, och jag undrar var han kommer ställa för diagnos på mig. Och alltså... That's gotta be so tough hearing or seeing that right, in the dark while also talking about seeing your psychiatrist. Check this out. Och Melmurder den här veckan och jag undrar vad han kommer att ställa för diagnos på mig. Och alltså det är så jävla. And she ends up getting so close to the tree. That's so scary. Was it a deer? What is that? What is that actually? I've heard of the idea of this, like, maybe it's a cryptid, maybe it's like, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what to call it, but I've heard of these creatures that apparently peek out from behind trees like that, and I've seen videos of them before. But this, like, doesn't even have a defined face. For a second, I thought it had to be an animal, because it kind of looked like a deer head. A hide behind, that's what it is, that's what it is. I don't know, this one is really, really, really creepy and I cannot imagine being her looking back on this uh, video. It was only after viewers had pointed this out mm. that Ellen had noticed it. Oh 
there appears to be a figure peeking at Ellen from behind a tree. It's unclear as to who or what this might have been, but viewers think that this could have been a ghost. Whatever it might have been, Ellen will most likely be taking a different route from now on. Grisel Luna is conducting a paranormal investigation at a place where She's human so remains pretty. were found. The site has been abandoned for a while and She's is known so to be pretty. a hotspot for paranormal activity. While Sorry, checking, I'm sipping over the pretty lady. Let me restart so I can be normal. Grisel Luna is conducting a paranormal investigation at a place where human remains were found. The site has been abandoned for a while and is known to be a hotspot for paranormal activity. While checking out one of the rooms inside the building, this happens. Oh boy. Vamos a iniciar por esta. We're gonna enter Vamos inside. We're gonna see what's inside here. There's a lot of old furniture covered in dirt. Ooh, yeah, thick dirt. Ay, no, 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 viste, Melissa se movió. Llenos de tierra. Que ya están. Ay, no, 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 viste, Melissa se movió. Ay, Dios mío. Later on, Grisel goes outside and finds something pretty disturbing. Is that a bone? Ooh, don't touch, don't touch. Is it red? Yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, don't touch it. Put it back, put it back. Put it back, put it back. No, put it back. If you ever I'm not sure if picking up if you ever see something like this, if you ever see what looks like somebody binding together materials, or if you find a jar, or if you find anything that looks like I don't know, witchcraft, don't touch it. Do not touch it. Do not. There is a reason why it's there. Like, there is a reason why this bone is bound here and, like, outside of this house where very clearly there's paranormal activity. Like, no. Picking up the bone was a good idea because what happens next might have been the result of having done so. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm not sure if picking up the bone was a good idea because what happens next might have been the result of having done so. I think it's time for us to leave. Okay. No way, no way, no way. Yeah, there's somebody there. There's like somebody who. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yep, run, leave immediately. Let's go. It's not clear as to what happened here, but whatever occurred, I'm Ew. sure it wasn't good, as given by the history of this place. Creepy. Facebook user Yingyi Vong writes, So something crazy happened tonight. My motion activated security camera turned on. I grabbed my phone to see a live feed of what was happening outside. I couldn't believe what I saw. It's nice you could see the live feed. The... Oh, stop! Stop. Talk about Ghost Rider. If the tricycle hadn't stopped and turned, I would have guessed the wind moved it. Same. But, as you can see, that doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, whoever is pedaling on that thing, that little speed demon over there, quite literally a speed demon, um, they are like navigating the bike. Like, that is fully something. It is something and it is someone. Sorry, I want to fix my bangies. Susie Somori lives in a three-story house Somori. with lots of stairs and several rooms. Out of all the rooms, there's one in particular that she stays away from. On the third floor, there's a large, vacant room with a painting of a sun on one yeah. of its walls. She doesn't know why, but there's something about this painting that makes her feel very uneasy. Oh my god, watching this now, knowing what Somori has been through up until 2023, how like... She literally had to take a break from the internet because of like paranormal things and just other stuff that was going on. Like Solmori basically had, excuse me, dolls that came with this house. 
Um, and the dolls were very, very haunted. I don't know how long that Bizarre Bub will end up featuring the dolls. But Gilbert, our freaking beloved. I love Soul Mori more than my basically anything in this entire world. So I'm so curious which video he's going to show. It might be the ambience of the room, but she can't help but feel like the painting is responsible for the dreaded feeling she gets whenever she walks in. Ooh. So, thinking it's all in her head, she tries her best to ignore this feeling. But then, one night, Susie encounters something that scared the living daylights out of her. Susie is home alone when she captures the following on camera. It's so dark even though it's daylight. I mean, you clearly could hear something in that room. Susie ends the video there, but little does she know that things were about to get worse. Oh, so much One worse. One day, Susie's niece is playing inside the room, and while spying on her, she captures this. Start it over so you guys can hear better. I remember Her that. I remember it being so scary because, like, it was the first confirmation that something, like, truly paranormal was happening in that house. Susie didn't to be talking. Her niece appears to be talking to the painting as though she's having a conversation with it. Susie didn't like this, and so she asked her as to who she was talking to. This is what she said. Did you like him? Yes. Yeah. Gilbert's like one of my best friends. No. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, it, is Gilbert friendly? Yeah. Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? They don't pray. They don't pray. I remember this. God. Susie doesn't know what to make of this. It seems that her niece had befriended Gilbert, the painting on the wall. She's made an imaginary friend, but the thing said by the so-called friend doesn't sit well with Susie. And so, she decides to spy on her once more. But this time, she captures something even more strange. Her niece appears to be looking for something underneath the floorboard. I remember it this. It was only after her niece had fallen asleep that she decided to investigate the spot. She checks oh it out and God. ends up finding something disturbing. Take a look. Sorry, these videos are so quiet. I just don't even think there's an amount I could turn them up where you could hear everything well. Yeah, that definitely, I mean, we saw her lift that up before. I cannot believe how this all started off now, knowing everything that happened after. Oh, it's the Ouija board, I forgot. A Ouija board under the stairs. And it has Gilbert's little son. Crazy. Insane. 
god. Gilbert and Gloria. Gloria is one of the other dolls in the house. She's Needless to say, Susie was speechless. What's more strange about this is the Ouija board itself. If you look closely, the board appears to have the same painting of the sun that's on the wall. Uh-huh. This can't be a coincidence. Susie is certain that the board is somehow connected to the painting. This unsettling discovery has led Susie into researching the history of her home. And, after much research, she found this. Oh boy. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John. The mother was called Maud. Next to on the balcony has a daughter, Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here Gilbert. in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo. What they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands so of his own family. Quiet. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Oh! I forgot about that. Gilbert was the name of a child who used to live in her house and whose room has the painting of the sun, which seems to have been named after him. She has yet to post more info on the history of her home. Oh. For now, Bizarre she continues book. researching in the hopes of putting an end to this mystery. Is Gilbert yeah. the supposed ghost that talks to her niece? Or... Is it something else? If you guys hear any maka, ma'am, hey, uh, if you guys hear any crazy sounds, Hades is running all over the living room with a toy. He is very tired of me not paying attention to him. Also, our final self-care timer was due to go off in about five minutes. I actually am going to have to end the stream after I finish this video just because it got a little bit later I thought we might be able to do this in three-ish hours and then just spent so long talking in the beginning I wasn't able to. So I'm going to cancel the self-care timer for now. Um, and we will just end up doing the last 20 minutes, excuse me, of this video and then say our goodbyes. Um, Digi also said, I saw a TikTok of a guy magnet fishing up spell jars and giving his small daughter the contents. Like, no, sir. What the hell is wrong with everybody? <laughs> what is wrong with everybody? A group of friends are at a fair, riding the pirate ship ride, when one of them captures something disturbing oh on camera. Oh no. The person who caught this writes, Before coming to this fair, I've heard stories of a woman who had tragically died after falling off from one of the rides here, but that was many years ago. This video was taken in 2008 at around 10 p.m. This is what was captured. Be sure to pay close attention to the background or you'll miss it. Okay. Close attention to the background. It's hard to see. There's a lot of screen tear in here. Also, it's a fair. Like, what could they possibly have seen that would have been that weird? Oh, it's a cute video. Us, but I can't see anything. <laughs> it slips. Bizarre bub, slow the footage down. Right now it's just people screaming. I didn't see anything, did you guys? At first, there are four people sitting next to each other, but then okay. a few seconds later, there's one less person. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is she just behind the other girl? Maybe she's just behind her. I mean, like, that footage is really shaky and stuff, you know? Oh, maybe not. Where did she go? It appears that the passenger on the left has disappeared. The man recording this has no idea as to who she is and still doesn't know to this day. However... He can't help but think that this might have been the woman who had tragically died at this fair many years ago. Huh. 
Viewers think so too, and have even pointed out that her face looks injured in a couple of frames. It, I just now assumed, that's creepy. I assumed it was because the camera quality was so bad. But like, yeah, there was a fourth person there and it really did look like she just disappeared. Someone in chat also said there's only three seats, I think. Like, oh no. But of course, what do you think? Was a ghost caught on camera or was this all just an illusion? As always, feel free to let me know what you think. My husband works nights at a high school that was built in 1877. He's always told me it's been haunted and he has seen and heard weird stuff. But with the schools being closed since COVID, things have been a little strange recently. Last strange. night, they had some construction workers in and one of the guys was freaking out because he said someone kept whispering in his ear and he didn't seem to believe my husband oh when he said that the school was haunted. Later, one of my husband's colleagues saw something in his peripheral vision a couple of times, so he took a picture where he kept seeing it. This is what he caught on camera. This is that one kid who slept in class and nobody woke up. In all seriousness though, this photo remains a mystery, but I can't help but think that the history of the school might give an explanation to this image. All in all, this photo is pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. That one is weird. That one was weird. That's just like a kid sitting in there. Oh no, ghosts haunting a place since 1877. I just cannot even imagine who this possibly could be. I don't know if that person even knows who they could possibly be. If those walls could talk, I'm sure that there are so many spirits in a school that was built in 1877. What do you mean? That's wild. But I can't help but think that the history of the school might give an explanation to this image. All in all, this photo is pretty creepy. You can literally see feet. There are feet on the floor. Emax is a ghost hunter on YouTube who explores abandoned places. Not too long ago, he explored an abandoned hospital in Taiwan where he encountered strange activity. He decides to revisit that same hospital in the hopes of capturing more activity. And he actually does, but it may have been more than he expected. There's no doubting oh, that Emax no. was left feeling spooked, but all of this pales in comparison to what happens next. Oh dear God. I like that the, the closed captain think it was applause. The ghost is just like, yes, yes. Oh This movement isn't made by wind. This place is terrifying. Don't let it shut you in there, bud. Be vigilant. Vigilant. <laughs> oh my god. Are we sure it's not wind? Are we sure?
coming back to this place might have upset the ghost that haunts it. Slamming the door repeatedly kind of makes it seem like it was irritated by Emax's return. Real. With activity like this, out of their home. it makes you wonder if a poltergeist was present or if it was something else. If you caught something creepy on camera or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said- That one was weird. Don't get me wrong, by the way. I just like- a lot of you guys are saying like, no, that wasn't wind. I'm sure it probably wasn't. I also think maybe going into a that room with no doorknob or anything may have like, like what if it had slammed shut and you couldn't get it back open? Like that's kind of scary, you know? Um, but I don't know what to make of this one. I mean, clearly the place is haunted and this person has had like other experiences, but Anyway, 10 more minutes of footage. Damn, I cannot believe how long this one was. And include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Marlene White is inside her bathroom when she captures something really creepy on camera. Marlene writes, please tell me that I'm not crazy. Here's the video she posted along with the text-to-speech voice that she uses to explain oh, what's going- Oh, Kylantis! Sorry, honey. I literally saw your super chat come in and then kept watching. Um, thank you so very much for the super chat. Thanks for streaming for us. Love you. Have a good rest of your night and have so much fun tomorrow. Thank you, Kylantis. I love you. Good night, friend. Thanks for being here. White is inside her bathroom when she captures something really creepy on camera. Marlene writes, Please tell me that I'm not crazy. Here's the video she posted along with the text-to-speech voice that she uses to explain what's going on. What the hell is this? I only have one baby at my house today. The rest of them Hello. are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. That's definitely like a kid. I was on the toilet when I felt like something was watching me. I've been on edge ever since I took a picture and my dad was behind me by the door. So I decided to turn the camera on and record dot this is not my dad. I don't know what it is. It's like moving. But that's like a little kid. I know you've seen it move before and after I gasped. Who are you? Oh my god. Hello. Now, it kind of looks like someone is standing inside. Maybe it's one of her children. But Marlene disproves this notion by showing us what it would actually look like if one of her children were standing inside. This one freaks me out. Stand in the shower real quick so I can show people something, please. That little kid was all black and white. Shut the door. Like, see, like, obviously Dang. her kid is in, like, really colorful, colorful clothes now, but that what? just looks, oh, that looks okay. completely different. You can get out. <laughs> Come here, child. <laughs> this is literally what you guys want. <laughs> like, oh, poor baby. Get that baby out of the haunted shower. That baby doesn't want to be in a haunted shower. That was not my babies in the shower. Please that was weird. Just stop. There's no way. See, there's no way. I would never get in that scary thing. I'm so scared. Like... Marlene oh. has no idea as to what this might be. But viewers can't help but think that this might have been a ghost. It's but something. But what do you think? Ghost or illusion? I don't think that's an illusion because later on, like, you couldn't see it in there. And it's very clearly a shadow behind the glass. You can see it move, but I, I just feel like that's not being cast by anything. I don't know. I really hate this one. This is honestly maybe the scariest one that we've watched out of this entire video. I am freaked out by that little tiny kid. Like, the way that it moves at one point... Uh, sorry, the way that it moves at one point is just so eerie. If you hate dolls, then you'll probably want to skip this one, oh God, as what's captured in it is just terrifying. <laughs> a girl is playing with her doll, and oh, the following dolls. happens. Be sure to pay close attention to the doll, oh, or no. you'll miss it. Oh no. Aunt Juliana, how is this 
video to you. Good? Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Kellyana. You are a good supporter. So, Kellyana, what? Oh my god, wait, the little kid noticed as soon as it happened. Oh my god, oh my god. As she plays with her toy, the doll moves its head all on its own. Now, it could be that the doll has a built-in feature that allows it to move, but based on how she reacted upon seeing this, it seems like this wasn't a feature built into the doll. Viewers seem to agree and suggest that the doll is haunted, but as always, I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Could you guys really see that? Was my was my head blocking? Oh my god! Sorry, <laughs> I moved the wrong thing. Could you guys see it when the doll's head was moving? Hold on. Thank you. I just want you to get a really, really so, good Juliana, look at the doll what? head moving because it's terrifying, and I'm worried I was blocking it in some of the up close shots. Like that, and then where is it up close? It seems like this wasn't the doll. Wait, but as always, viewers seem to agree and suggest that the doll is haunted. But as always, I'll let you be the judge of that. It very clearly moves its head. Like the doll very clearly moves its head. I don't know. I don't think that one was an accident. The video you're about to see was posted by Andy Winehouse who in a follow-up video recorded this. Okay, for anybody asking, this is my family home. I grew up here. I think I've seen this And we've this never video. had a single experience like this. I think I've seen this before. Sorry, I'm gonna restart it. Okay, for anybody asking, this is my family home. I grew up here. And we've never had a single experience like this. I don't know what is going on. I'm getting a lot of comments saying I'm doing it for views and I'm doing it for likes. And I, I promise you I am not. Don't like the video, don't comment if you don't want to. I just need somebody who knows what this is to please reach out. I don't care if it's in a comment or privately, just please reach out and please just help me. I don't know what to tell my wife when she gets home. I can't afford a hotel for the night. We're doing a remodel in the bathroom. And everything's just going to right now. And I'm not trying to be dramatic about this. But I have no idea what to do. And everybody in the comments all day has just been freaking me out. And I want to think this is just in my head. But I keep listening to it over and over and over again. Is there somebody please? Somebody please reach out with an answer or some help or something. As you can tell by the video, Andy is in total shock and cannot process the strange incident that took place inside his home. Luckily, he was able to record this incident in case no one believed him. Andy writes, I don't know what to do at this point. Things got weird last night and I had to sleep in my car. I am safe, but I am not doing well and I need help. This is what he caught. I'm so curious what's Come happening. Here. Come here. Come here. What the hell? Come here. Oh my god, this video. I told you. Come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, there are tears in my eyes. I this video kept me up for weeks i have like chills all over my body this is the scariest shit i've ever seen in my life andy writes i don't know what to do at this point things got weird last night and oh i god, had to sleep in my bug. car like why did you play that clip first i am safe but i am not doing well and i need help this is what he caught Come 
here. I want to talk to you. Andy so can rest assured that he's not losing his mind as the video shows that someone or something is mimicking his own voice. It's up to you to decide as to whether or not something supernatural was caught on camera. Andy is certain that he did. But for now, the video remains a mystery and to is left open day. to interpretation. To this day, that video scares the hell out of me. It has been so many years since I have watched that clip. And to this very day, it is horrifying. Laura Honigan posted the following video after capturing footage of something creepy on her baby monitor. Oh boy. Her daughter is resting in her crib when Laura all of a sudden gets a bad feeling. She promptly runs to her daughter's room and sees that she's okay. But little does she know that something was captured on her baby monitor before she had entered the room. It's worth mentioning that no one was upstairs at the time of this recording. Laura writes, I'm f***ing terrified. Oh boy. Oh no. This is what was caught. Oh no. It appears that a pair of legs were caught on camera. Here's a follow up video Laura had made in response to this creepy footage. There was legs that were walking, it looked like legs, that were walking out of her room. And her window is locked. There's no other entrance to that room, literally. And you never seen nothing going in. It just was legs going out. You seen me come in, come out, and then you see those legs go out, and then you see me come upstairs to get her and go out. Laura doesn't know what to make of this. What's strange about this is that whoever, or whatever this was, appears to have come out of nowhere, as no signs of entry were seen in the daughter's room. Ooh. It could be that a squatter that was hiding terrifying. in the house, given the fact that most squatters tend to hide in places like the attic. Perhaps that's where they came from. But of course, I'll leave it to you to figure this one out. I'm was a ghost caught on camera? Or had something else been captured? I'm not so sure about that one. Like, I obviously understand if you live in that house and you know where everyone is, and you see a, like a pair of legs that don't make any sense in your kid's room, obviously that's gonna be absolutely terrifying. But for me, it just looked like legs. Like I, like for me, it wasn't like terrifying, terrifying, but I understand why. It's scary, especially since there was no sign of entry, no sign of anyone being there. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Like, to me, that just looks like a real person, which is maybe the scariest option possible. Rewatch the clip and decide for yourself. The following footage shows someone who's by himself inside a gym. When something terrifying happens, oh, he runs. Emily Ruiz, who suggested the video, writes, Oh, he takes off. Words cannot explain this disturbing footage. What? The person in the video had obtained this recording from the gym and sent it to a friend who we hear speaking in the video. This is what was captured. A lot of weird things happen here. One of the equipments moved. Explain that to me. We can't say for sure it's due to ventilation, but it did look like somebody using it. All of this is happening in broad daylight. Look. And that's when he kind of notices it, but doesn't do anything. Those are really heavy. Wait, what? Hold on. Like, 
Those who've seen the footage were left unsettled by this terrifying encounter. Oh my god. At the start of the video, leg. we can see that someone or something <gasps> is peeking at this person. This what? is something you might have missed. Now, it's worth mentioning that another oh camera god. had recorded this from a different angle. By looking at this specific footage, we can see that the facility has open windows. It could be that the wind from outside the room was causing the ropes to move on their own. But if that were the case, then other things in the room should have moved as well, especially the towel on the box, which appears light enough to move just a bit, but it doesn't. Hmm. The wind could also explain the ball's movement, but mind you, this is a medicine ball. It's it would take more than just a gust of wind to be able to move something this heavy. Uh huh. But what's even more baffling about this footage is how the person gets dragged across the floor. It could be that he was doing this on his own, moving his body in such a way to make it seem as though he were being dragged. However, a closer look at this scene shows this that he was like crazy. Sorry, the breakdown is nuts. Jerked and he were being it could be that he was doing this on his own, moving his body in such a way to make it seem as though he were being dragged. However, a closer look at this scene shows that he was jerked in a forceful manner, which is almost impossible to do on one's own. Other things in the video remain questionable, such as lights turning off on their own, or whatever this is. Yeah. I'll leave it to you to come up with your own conclusion on this footage. Feel free to let me know what you think. It just looked like something literally like pulling him by the leg. I would be like, okay, maybe he was just really trying to spook us all. But like the equipment started moving on its own. Then you see somebody peeking in the doorway. The lights go off in that doorway. The medicine ball moves by itself. And then suddenly he is yanked by the foot. It's, it's just weird. And I remember seeing this clip go super, super, super viral. I don't know. That one is really, really, really creepy and to me seems paranormal, but obviously I understand logistically it all makes sense. It was just too much in one video for me. A bonus vid. Katrina Pariso had taken a photo of herself while being at home with no one else around. She had the house to herself, oh boy. or so she thought. It was after having taken a selfie that she realized that she wasn't alone. This is the photo she took. Okay. Queen. Now at first glance, nothing unusual stands is out. There that is, until you brighten up the image and see that someone is behind her. Katrina swears that she was home alone when she took this, but apparently she wasn't. Oh. Katrina believes that a ghost had photobombed her picture, My and she God. also thinks that this may have been her brother who had passed away years ago. Oh. She isn't sure if that's him though as it appears to have long hair, which he didn't have. It also looks so creepy. She has yet to figure out what this might have been. But one thing's for sure though, this photo has left Katrina spooked and still keeps her up at night. It literally looks like somebody laying on the floor behind her in her image. It looks like she took a photo and there was a body on the floor behind her, but it doesn't look like an actual person. Like, look at the brightened version of this. That is not a person, right? That's not a person. That's not a person. It's not a person. It's not a person. I've decided actually. Believe it or not, you guys, that was it. Those were some freaky freaking TikToks, a little blast of the past to the year of 2021 for the scary side of TikTok. It's kind of fun to see some of this content um, again, but... It was also really cool to just see stuff I had never seen before. And like I said, it all kind of felt like TikTok-y content, you know, because it was all vertical and whatnot. Um, that was so fun, though. Thank you guys so much for hanging out for the Scream stream. I had an absolute blast. It got so much later than I thought it was going to. Again, I thought I might be done um, earlier than this tonight, but I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> Don't worry, Kira. You'll be able to go back and watch. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. 2022 next. Honestly, maybe. I want to watch so many more Bizarre Bub videos. He's my favorite. I swear to God. It looks like a little kid <laughs> picking his nose. <laughs> what? 
Oh man. Oh my god. I'm so EP. I'm so EP. The EP hit out of nowhere. Self care timer. <laughs> Yes, we are fully abiding by the self-care timer and all is well. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. I will probably see you tomorrow much later than tonight. We will see. Hopefully I'll be able to pop on. If I do, I will be in my streamies outfit. We will pop on. We will watch Life of Luxury. It will probably be less than an hour long stream and then we will go to sleep. Just to say we did our scream stream on it. A Sunday. I'm not entirely sure. I do have to head out on Monday, so we'll see, but fingers crossed and I will put on your notifications if you want to want to catch the the last minute stream. But I wanted to do a scream stream today just cuz I wasn't sure if I could make it for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you have any interest in modding, if you are a regular viewer of the stream, we have our uh uh, Discord linked. Pluto just linked the Discord for us. You can check that out. I will pin that for a second. Um, but if you want to send in an application, you can do so from there. I can't believe I haven't eaten dinner. I can't believe it's so late. Oh, I can't believe it got so late. It's so hard being a bad bitch. It really is. You guys get it. You really do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, though. I had such a blast tonight. I love you very, 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 very much. And I will see you soon. If you want any more Loey Lane for the night, um, make sure to check out the video from today. I posted a little bit. And other than that, I think that's it. All right. Love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. I, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right.